Alright. If you can hear me, type 100. We got enough time for two games and then KDA Cup. Are you doing okay? I am fine. Pretty mad still. This game's been very frustrating lately. Did you sleep enough? Uh, yeah. Dinner. That's nice. Nothing too spicy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fiestrea, welcome. On a roll. No. The pump is not bad. Oh shit. AFK would be really good if I made 10. I think it's 1, 2, 3, so. Wait, holy shit, it's all garbage. Holy shit, that was all garbage. Not a single playable unit. I'm just playing any rural, I guess. I mean, any rural might actually be kind of decent here, though. Three Annies, 20 gold. I have an Ashers and a Shojin. It actually looks like kind of good. Oh fuck, there's a lot of weak players. Alright, let me go ahead and mark the ending build. I mean, uh, I should probably open my end build next round. Start thinking about what I want to play. It's probably me Nashers. Measure Shojin. Uh -uh. Sell for 30. Oh, I'm good. Selling for 30 is a huge throw. Let me go look up, uh, how people play any reroll nowadays. Uh, looks like it's mostly Shojin Nashers. I 
Apparently, Mana Zane's her best item. Blue buff is also pretty good. Okay, these, uh, these all suck. I'll just take a steadfast heart. Apparently, Nasher's blue buff is popular. Wait, but I can't imagine people playing Nasher's blue buff. That feels incorrect. Oh, I'm definitely not playing a one gold blue buff. I'm just going to show you Nasher's. Yeah, okay, so according to the stats, Shojin is a slight positive delta, which means it's slightly bad, and Nasher's is average. Gwinsu's is not very good. And Blue Buff is apparently pretty good. I'm surprised to see that. You probably have to play in like a really specific way, which I haven't learned. Um, There's like two open forders. I mean, if I win this first round, I'm down to like try to win the next round. If I lose the next round, I'll try to lose the following round, but my reigning opponents are like so weak. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep losing. I'm gonna be coin flipping a lot of this game here. This guy's got a Yone 2 on 4. Okay, so I always lose to this guy. This It's good if I face this guy. This guy is also stronger than me. And this guy is open forwarding. So I have a 1 in 3 chance to get owned. I probably just end this fully. Ah, of course. Classic. Rolled the 1 in 3. Why does this always happen? Seriously. Alright, well I definitely have to roll down now then. Hello, Kaorina. Welcome. Actually, I actually have pretty good Ari items, but I've got six Annies. Actually, I have best in slot. Hmm. I got best in slot Ari. Nah, I feel like I should go for this Annie. Pretty sure I'm gonna spot for it. Come on, game, reward me.
Come on, game. Give me one Annie. One Annie. Please, one Annie. Just one. Seriously? Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, this is like pretty average, I guess. It sucks that I won that one round though, it cost me like 10 gold. Very good restraint to not pivot to Ari. Yeah, it was very contested and my odds of hitting Annie were pretty good. Hey, don't get me wrong though, I'm definitely playing Ari if I see one though. I still have items. I wonder if this is better right now. This guy's got kind of a strong board for level 6, 60 gold, 95 HP. Would you ever drop super fan for two Shoujins? I don't think so. And it's a lot weaker than she's a lot weaker than she used to be, but like, I think this is still like a pretty ideal setup. I've heard of some people doing like some weird blue buff shenanigans where you go like four emo and blue buff, but it seems pretty hard to set up. Oh my god, I almost lost. No Ari, a little sad. Mm, I think I should prioritize a tank item actually. Yeah, I think I was supposed to take a uh, crown guard. Hello RTX, welcome. Can you explain the format of the KDA Cup? I'll talk more about it once it starts happening. Okay. I feel like any reel is not very good nowadays. So, this game was like a little bit above average in terms of like how long it took me to hit the Annie's. It was below average in that I lost the my streak. But like everything else is pretty good. So, curious to see how well it does. I'm like mentally prepared to never hit an Ari ever again. That unit's too contested. Maybe I was supposed to do it. Uh... Man, get off my 
Maybe I was supposed to go blue buff. I'm like thinking about it now. I'm like, it's not that hard to throw in a Moomoo Moo Vex. So what would that look like if you wanted to play a 4 um, uh, emo version? So instead of super fan, you'd probably go... I mean, this is a level 8 board though. You'd probably drop Kennen and Seraphine. And then you'd instead play like a Lulu. And you, it's like actually mostly three costs. Yeah, and then eventually replace Vex with Poppy. Oh, and then maybe Nar. Okay. I don't have time to learn it right now, but that is something worth trying in the future. I guess one has like perfect synergy, but the itemization's kind of awkward now. And it sucks I didn't win this round. I could have had a six streak. That's not bad though. I, I think that round was winnable if I um, played my strongest board. I need to like decisively roll down instead of just like this half ass like, come on, anywhere are you? Alright, best thing I can get is chain and chain. All frontline items, please. Chain? Okay. Get on my level. Uh, not bad. Gunblade. Steadfast hurt. Okay, got a nice setup for Ari. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll just level for Nar. Do you think Little Buddies could be good with Ari and Annie? No. I think Little Buddies is good if you're playing a 4 cost carry with a lot of 1 cost frontline. It's so like 6 Sentinels. It's really good with Ari. I've seen you at this exact comp so many times. That's weird, because I haven't played this comp in over a month. I'm surprised you get you you're saying that. Oh speaking of three is a crowd. One, two. Three is a crowd. If I wanted to go for four emo, it could maybe work, but uh, I think it's too late for that. Teaming up. That's probably epitaph. Probably more frontline. It's not the greatest, but it'll do. I kind of want to try to roll for one Ari. Uh, four Ari's gone. Ooh, and Sasuko did not hit an Ari. I feel like I am supposed to roll. I, I'm on Nico pair, Seraphine pair, Nar pair, and then zero Ari's. I think I'm actually down to roll. I'm gonna roll literally one time. Okay, an R2. Hopefully this isn't an R2 diff, because that'd be a little sad. I mean, Annie clutches this. Is Warp and TFT very important? Uh, you'd be surprised. People tend to play their first one or two games really badly, so like, for the sake of a tournament, it's good for me to get my one or two bad games out of the way. Like, your brain's just slow. Like, here I, I like, lost my my sixth streak. I could be on an eight streak right now, but I'm not because I uh, rolled slow. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to roll. Oh, fuck. Or I could just go eight next round. Maybe I'll just do that. If I win this, I just go 8. I think it's reasonable. Ah, uh, yeah, Nico pair is nice. Hitting a 1-star Ari is huge. But it looks like Ari will still be available later. Mm, 
if I'm, I'm gonna lose my streak probably. This Zack is horrifying. Oh my god. Oh fuck. I'm definitely. Okay, this guy doesn't have a backline. He's still playing Senna too, so maybe I can win. Wait, look at this Zack. Holy shit, this thing will not die. Luckily, my opponent does not do any damage. Oh my god, does she take it? Oh my god, she does, barely. Okay, um... We just want tank items. I feel like the best thing I get is a crown guard at this point, or a war mogs. I am down for belt. Okay, uh, probably this chain. Could also been glove, I guess. A third steadfast or a TG. You could also this could also be Sunfire. Oh, so it's a go miss on this roll down forfeited. Alright. I mean, I'm going to uh I'm gonna roll once and Oh wait. Okay, this is actually not bad. I'm probably just not rolling at 8. Try to keep my streak, try to find one Ari. One Ari is a massive improvement over the Seraphine. Does the final come of Spell Weaver? Uh, you mean. Oh, 5 Spell Weaver? It's like. It's flex. A lot of options. Okay, this guy completely rolled me. This is true damage. Yeah, this anti comp is definitely not what it used to be. I will say that. Like, it got me a decent streak once I hit, though. If I get offered, like, a, if I get offered another 6 anti game, I'd probably still take it. But I feel like I'm probably going, like, 5th or 4th here. So let me think of how I'm supposed to get stronger here. Uh, hit Nico two. Yeah, hit Nico two. Roll for Ari. Uh, and I think four guardians is not bad, but there's probably something better. It might actually just be five spell weaver. Holy shit! One star true damage. Caitlyn almost one shot my whole board. Definitely just stay 8 and try to slowly bleed out. If I try to go 9, I will die. So, I'm down for Ari over Seraphine. Upgrade my York, upgrade my Amumu, upgrade my Nico. I'm trying to think like what else I could plug in. You can maybe plug in two Sentinels. It probably wouldn't be that pretty though. Oh, Crown Guard is nice. Oh wow, I just got two upgrades. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's roll for Ari. I have a Sona. I'm pretty sure it's not actually Sona. Well, I do have a Gwyn Seuss. I do have a Gwyn Uh I don't think my front line's tanky enough, though. Let me, th let me think.
Wait, what a woke Ari build. What the heck? Crown Guard, Giant Slayer. What? Oh, she must have really not hit items. You need MR Shred and Anti Heal. Okay, I've got the Shred. And you don't really need Anti Heal if you're playing single target. Okay, 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 okay. What I have here is actually very interesting. We are not one soul. We are many. I need one spell weaver. Let's get this party started. Actually, I don't even need Gragas. I think I just play a Zac. This Sona is actually like looking pretty hot. Yeah, okay, wait, so let me think about this. You just drop Gragas for Zach, and then I think my board's like pretty complete. Yeah, looks looks thirdable. Definitely don't try to go nine. I mean going nine's a huge trap, because you take so much damage in doing so. I'd rather just like play for my strongest board right now, even if it means just donkey rolling for a Gragas. This random Sona hit with Gwyns is pretty good. Is Super Fan best in slot here? Uh, it is in the form of like, it's really hard to get better. You would need a lot of money to get better than Superfan. And Superfan's something you can roll for at level 4 while you're rolling for Annie, so like, it kind of comes for free. Uh, I like this Bruiser Spat. Do I have a Lobby Pair? No, I have Sona Pair. Uh, I would take that Taric, I guess, for anti-heal. I think it's just redemption. I'm like thinking about that hyper pop spat. No, it's not that good here. I think it's just redemption. You don't really need anti-heal here. If I if I want to, I could do this. I'm not even sure. I don't even think it's better. I'm pretty sure five spell weaver is a bit of a scam here. Like, my my Sona is so fucking hot right now. I change to like live. I change to live. But yeah, so like to answer the question of like, is Superman best in slot here? No, but the alternative is so expensive, and if you're playing any reroll, you're not gonna have the money to afford it. So I'm very fine with this. Are you going to try to go 9 now? No. Like, don't be fooled. 55 HP is not a lot. Well, sorry. I, I can try to. I'm, I don't think I'm going to. Like, at this point, there's basically nothing to roll for. So, like, I might try. But, uh... You definitely were not supposed to go for it until... Oh, hey. You're definitely not supposed to go for it until, like, a certain point. Oh, this is probably better. Oh fuck, this feels better. Okay, controversial opinion, I actually don't think it is. I actually don't think it is. I think even though the synergies fit perfectly, Ari at nine makes way more sense. Ari at 9 makes way more sense than Alawi at 9, because I have this Gwinsu Sona. Why does everybody just go heal- uh, oh, attack speed Sona? Because the game's not balanced. Attack speed Sona is 
like three times better than the other Sonas. Like, I think they designed Sona to try to be like this flex unit that you can like use to fill up whatever you're missing between healing, damage, and like attack speed. But they like really missed the mark. Okay, sucks that I didn't win this. Now I can't go nine. But like, a taxi stone is just not balanced right now. So that's the reason why. 1780, 80. Okay, maybe this was actually better. I'm like realizing now that it's better because, um, Katie actually gives more HP than Bruiser. You missed the Zack? Oh, no shit, because I have my better, I have the better unit now. Of course, I'm always missing the Zack there. And why did you slam the Gunblade on R on Sona, not Ari? Because I had a Sona first, and I didn't have an Ari. I feel like that one should have been really obvious. I have anti-heal now, but I really don't think you need it here. Oh, actually, for this matchup specifically, I probably need it. Actually, what if I do this? Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I just realized. Okay, I'm taking like 5 billion damage here. I was like already not winning this fight, but now I'm like super not winning this fight. I could have at least saved a little bit of HP if I put my Echo in front. Okay. I think I can get third this game. Oh, I have to win one on my next two fights. I'm probably not winning. I'm probably not winning one of these next two fights. I just need to like give Nine a sniff. Okay, this guy hasn't spent his money yet. Is there a small chance I can win this round? This Akali and true damage Caitlyn so strong though. Oh man. Actually, I think I have exactly enough gold to level. Okay, third, maybe a third by default. Okay, a third by default. Sheesh. Sell Annie. In what world do you think selling the Annie saves me here? Even if I hit whatever the perfect headliner was. Even if I got to literally choose my... Oh. I'm one gold short. Uh, that fucking sucks. I have to sell something. I don't know. I'm, I'm most likely dead anyway. Oh, he swapped sides. That's so annoying. This guy's on the left, and this guy's on the right, so I have to guess, and I guess wrong. Well, that's fine. Third place I'm pretty happy with. I think there's no world where any three can place above third here. I mean, looking at these last two guys, they're ultra high roll. Third place is fine there. We knew going into it that any roll was not that, that good, and that we we're just like trying to get a fourth. So third place is pretty good here. All right, I got enough time for one more game. Hello, big doors in. Thanks for the nine months. Got time for one more practice game before uh, KDA Cup.
I think uh, if you want to like go first there, you have to hit Annie three so fast that you can go nine, and then at nine, you play Sona to allow you to, and then that's like your cap, your end game cap. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, Aldehyde22. Thanks for the reset. Give me a second. I gotta eat my breakfast. When is the cup? Uh, it's in 40 mi 45 minutes. Oh, wait, no, it's in 40 minutes. Oh, shit. I might have to forfeit this game, but it's still worth the practice. Hmm. Welcome back, everybody. If this key doesn't pop soon, I don't think I can actually play. Uh oh. I'm looking at my previous TFT games. They all take like almost exactly 35 minutes, with like really long ones going to 40. And shorter ones being like 33. I need the game to like start right now. I mean like, I'm down to forfeit the game like once the t tournament starts, but... Oh man, the fact that I'm going to be queuing up knowing that I'm just going to lose my LP. Because I, even if I do well, I have to forfeit. It's really sad. Dang, this was not in my plans. I thought I would queue up for two quick games, get my warm-up in, and then... Go straight into the tournament, but... Go hyper roll? No thank you. Hyper roll is not good practice.
What about doing some side content? I'm not here for content today. I'm here to play the tournament as best as I can. And then sign off. Box box, you look kind of depressed. Do you get enough sleep? Oh, I got plenty of sleep. The reason why I'm depressed is because I don't like the current state of TFT. I like TFT as a whole. I don't like the current patch. So playing is like a very mixed bag of feelings. I want to do the best I can in this tournament. And then the moment I'm out, I want to stop playing TFT until the next patch. I had I had a dinner last night with um, Asa and a and a guy named Nico, a Riot dev. And also, um, okay, a slight Spire streamer named Jorbs. Really cool people. And I talked to them a lot about like their current design philosophy. I like what they say. Um, I, I have a lot of confidence that Riot will make the game good next patch. I like, again, I don't blame them for the way the game is right now. I think any long patch will be this way, even if it was originally balanced. It'll just be depressing until it happens, though. Country? Wait, executioner is long. I'm gonna hang on to the Samira. With component anvil, like Samira's a unit who like you have to hit a glove. But with component anvils, it's it's very very reasonable too. Oh fuck, a rod. Okay, a rod instantly changes my outlook. Hello, Trenton. Thanks for 21 months. Uh, fuck, I kind of want to pre-level. I'm going to hang on to the specs. I kind of want to sell all three of these in pre-level. I'm going to try for a win streak. Depends on what item I get here. If I get like a sword or a glove or a bow, I think I'll, I'm down. Belt. Okay, well, it's not what doesn't kill you. I just pre-leveled. Heroic grab bag. I could use that for an. Oh, fuck, these are all really bad. Okay, healing orbs is pretty decent. Okay, well, I guess I'm playing hard steel. Okay, uh, I can actually make this work. I can make, I can make this work. I need a glove here. And then I believe it's always sword here. Okay, I think what I have here is reasonable. If I want to play country, this is the way to go about it. Oh, I need to turn off my meta TFT. I forgot that that's not allowed during the tournament. Um, I'm gonna go disable that right now. Okay, so I can play country from here. I can also uh, play heart steel. I'll probably just like hang on to this Cassante for a while until I explicitly get something better. The fact that I have like a Vex and Samira right now and I had an IE is pretty nice. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed your st your time on my team, Vex. It's time to go. All right, I mean, a country rule game should be pretty simple. I'm down to play it out just because uh, it's good practice for the tournament. I might have a game that just like is an early country game. I haven't played country in a while though. Let me try to remember what the build was. I'm gonna move X, Urgot, Samir. And you just like stay seven the entire game. I believe this is the build. Yeah, I mean, early even shroud, early IE. I think Samira like has to be played with a glove.
Wait, did I just lose? Okay, no, I'm fine. I I, I thought I threw for a second by frontlining my Cassante. Okay, and I believe we're always pre-leveling here. Okay, no one's that strong. It, it should be a pretty easy five streak. But I'll still pre-level because I uh, when did I take this Cassante? Did I take this Cassante? Oh I, I took it on the augment round, so I, I'm not gonna be getting a better headliner. But you still pre-level here if you can't make econ. How are the games so far? I played one game today, I went third. It was not bad. It was a good third. It was a third where you couldn't have possibly like gotten second. So like it's weird, but like a third where you where a third is the best you could do feels better than like a second where you could have gone first. If there's one thing I hate, it's when I lose games. But like there was like a very obvious play I could have done. Like sometimes I just like don't roll fast enough and I like don't finish my three star something in time and then I die. I'm like, wow, that's completely my fault. And then other times you get the best possible placement you could get and you're pretty happy about it. So I'm pretty happy with that third. Um, I have a rod. I probably want glove here. There's a Samira. I think I just take the Samira. Okay, well I have to take the Samira. I guess if I have to. Are you gonna stream the tournament? Yes. It's in like 30 minutes. I'll, I'll have to forfeit this game. I'm not too happy about that. I have hard steel, but there's no way I'm playing it here. Like, I feel like when the game gives you an uncontested country game, you just take it, and then you you have to roll the dice. Like, you have to hit these three stars at seven, but I'm sure that'll hit. I I'm like super favored here. Thank you, Elite Tingle. First crown gets you out in 30 minutes. That's true. I think Zach is stronger than the Vex, but... Is there even a matchup that beats me? Open fort. Oh, what the fuck? There's no way I lose to Nar 2, right? Hmm. Stronger than Cassante? Uh, I don't think so. Cassante 2 is really good because he's guaranteed a cast of his ability. Zach 1 is not. Alright, 07 Cassante. You've served us well. Okay, uh, since we're locked in country, well, I guess technically you'd still pivot out. I really don't like the idea of pivoting out, but you technically could, right? Even Shroud IE could still be Ezreal, but like, you're uncontested country, no one else can ever pivot into you, you have a head start, like, I feel like you're always playing country here. Oh, a dupe? I'm like always playing country here. A dupe? Oh, I'm always playing country here. What? Oh, and a sword? Oh, I'm always playing country here. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. I'm going six. I'm going to roll a little bit for any decent headliner. I probably have to do it one time. All right, let's do this. 
Katarina. It's Crowd Diver Katarina. I think I skip it. I think this Jax is fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this Jax is fine. It needs to hold my items. Okay, what the fuck? I got two duplicators. Literally, like, once the game gives me a headliner Samira, I'm basically already there. What's Samira's best in slot? It's actually, um, it's interesting. I found out from my friend that it's IE, IE, GS. I used to not think IE, IE was good, but apparently the stats show that IE, IE, GS is correct. Well, hello, Kibble. Nice to see you here. It's probably not Lucky Streak. Is there ever long distance pals? Does Samira have any AP scaling? Actually, she does. It could be long distance pals. Don't believe it's Lucky Streak here. Uh, it could also just be a combat augment. I'd rather have combat augment. Unified. Wouldn't Deathblade be better than double IE? No, Samira scales exponential with crit, which I personally don't like that because whether or not you win with Samira is based on how many gloves you get. The reason why it is this way, by the way, is because uh, with Samira, every time she crits, she gains attack speed. So you can see how like, if you have crit chance, she kind of like scales exponentially, right? If you have 100% crit, it's like she has two Glinsus. So like, any crit item is massively superior to any non-crit item. So I don't I don't really like that part. So like the difference between like having uh 100% crit and having like 70% crit is huge. Do you get Urgot on a Lost Whisper? I mean I have an even shroud. But like Lost Whisper is fine on Samira if, if that's what you hit. Is better. Also, I don't know why I wasn't running this Gragas earlier. Alright, I'm probably gonna sell this Jax and then roll again. There's a lot of ways I can get stronger. Oh fuck. There's like a couple matchups I think I could lose here. If Samira only needs crit wise, just good on her. Well, if you listen to what I said, I said crit's really important on her, and IE IE gets her 100% crit chance. Therefore, after that point, you don't really need crit. After that, you just want single target damage, and Giant Slayer is the best at that. This guy's level 750 with best in slot Ari. That's a little intimidating. I think I win, though. Alright, the high roll here is to get a glove. I could take this. Uh... Oh, these items suck. I think it's just a defensive item. I don't think Vex items matter right now. Alright, roll until I hit something decent. Uh, I think I just take this for now. All right. I'm up now. Uh, why is there a death blade on? What? Why does this Nico have a death blade? Oh, 
Holy shit, this gnar is massive. What the heck? It's so large. My god. Okay, Samira was able to take it down. Okay, literally just like hit the headliner Samira and that's instant three star. If I'm really greedy, if I'm really greedy, I would just like do this or this. I'd probably do this and then sell Poppy. I feel like I win. I win. Yeah, I win. If I don't, I'm kind of fucked. Okay, so literally I just sell this set and then any Samira I'm just taking immediately. I don't think I would take a Vex. I don't think I would take an Amumu. I think I'm down to just like greed for only the Samira. I, I'll have quite a lot of money. I'll have like 40 gold. And I, all I have to do is hit a headliner Samira. Like any Samira. You could almost like maybe even natural it. All right. Yeah, I'll have like 40 gold. Give me an S. And also give me an A and a V and a U and a other S and a T. Country si Country is so easy, holy shit. It's it actually feels like a mind break. Like it's like a relaxing, like, oh yeah, I, I just like win. Alright, I do need to roll a little fast here though. But like I already have everything bookmarked on my thing. Literally only buy things on the team planner. No need for substitutions. Just roll fast, spend your money, have the board ready. You're completely uncontested. This game should be so free. Get a Samira and then chill. And a Mumu too. Okay, uh, that's two IEs. Oh, wow, that's really easy. I should actually roll a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I should roll a little bit, because there's actually a lot of missing units in my build. Okay, so IE, IE. And then... I'll just throw these items on Cat for now, and then move with them later when I sell for Thresh. And then, it's probably Archangel's Vex. Cool! And I still have two duplicators. That I'll use for uh, my, my final three stars to win the game. Yeah, like, I was completely uncontested. This this was, like, super free. Oh, yeah, imagine if I get Recombob. What the heck? Wait, that'd actually be incredible if I got Recombob. Mm, that's not Cursed Crown. You really don't need it on Samira. It's probably Harm Assist. Let me think. It could be Bulk. Wait, get a Death Blade? No, I don't need that. Let me think if it's Bulk or Harm Assist. I think it's Bulk. I don't think Samira really needs healing. She's not taking that much damage until the end. Freaky Friday. I kind of like Freaky Friday. Oh, I'm gonna do bulk. I feel like Freaky Friday was interesting. One on Samira, one on Urgot. But then you're having half of your augment on a one star unit who's most likely not gonna get th uh, three starred. Whereas this is just like. Hey, you've got three augments that all make your frontline really good. And then you have an Archangel's Vex, a double IE Samir in the back. Ow. I'm not worried. <gasps> I'm not worried. Hey, I still have so much HP. I do need to sell this cat, though, and do a bulk spread. Why not Urgot 3-star? Uh, mostly because I don't have many Urgots. I could rebuild this now. 
I am down. Okay, so I've got three tank, uh, three tank augments, which means I really want every item from now on to be more about the damage. Yeah, every item from now on should be damage. I really need to focus on that last Samira item. Okay, so the real win con here is to hit an MMO3. MMO3 is instant first place. That unit is not balanced, especially with healing orbs. Yes, yeah, so I just chill. Roll down again later with, with like 70 gold. Spat on an Ezreal. Would I, I Guardbreaker work on Samira? Uh, I'm sure it'd be fine. She already has 100% crit chance though, so the Guardbreaker is not necessary. It's not horrible though. Giant Slayer is the most efficient last item though. All right, so I haven't natural the bow yet. So you should always grab the sword here because you are much more likely to get to get a bow than you are a sword. Why not gunblade? Uh, it is 100% not gunblade because I already have like 500 forms of healing and resists. Not much to do here. Is this documented? I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think any of it's documented. You just have to like hear about it through the grapevine. But yes, it's 100% true. There is a system where the longer you go without getting an item, the more likely you are to get an item. This is because of the item bag mechanic. And the way the item bag mechanic works is if you didn't, or if you hit an item, you are less likely to hit it again. So, indirectly, that means if you don't hit an item, you are more likely to hit that item as time goes on. You're not guaranteed, but you are more likely to. So, I've already natural like, two swords. So, I'm very, very unlikely to get another sword. Hello, Sajurd. Welcome. Are you gonna, are you gonna make it in time for the KDA Cup? Uh, I might have to forfeit this game. Which is a little sad because I'm pretty sure I can go first. I, I just had to like sit here, look cute, and then roll for my three stars. And like I have two dupes. Like it I'm so far ahead of the curve for the average country game. The the main thing is don't go eight. Actually, I'm down to roll a little bit right now. I'm gonna roll down to 30 and try to nice. Oh wait. Uh I said nice, but I realize now that none of those are real upgrades. I didn't actually get any stronger on my board. I'm gonna slam this sword. I call this the single sword diff. I was probably not supposed to slam that because there's like a chance that there's something else you want here. Okay, but what if it's actually a single sword? That's not. In one thresh. There's a small chance I fucked myself over with this uh, sword slam. Like, in the event that I get a Shojin but no Samir item. I mean, surely I hit like a bow. Guys, come on. I ha it's the it's the item bag rule. I, I haven't naturaled a bow like all game. I am I've naturaled so many other components. I am so likely to get a bow here. Deactivated deactivated meta TFT. Yes, it's not allowed during the tournament, so I'm practicing without it. Instant slam. Item bag mechanic. I think I know what to do here. I think it's TG. 
Okay, I'm gonna TG this set. Uh, I'm gonna pop off the decal. I uh, I need to let the items combine. Why don't you three star the set with the dupes? I uh, that's what I'm probably gonna do next round. But if I wait, okay, hang on. There, there's actually pretty good reason to wait, cause three starting this Amumu is like the game winner. Set's pretty good though. What about Hodge? A Hodge Rex is not that good. All right, I'm done to roll here and then try to lock in one Thresh. Weird that I haven't hit a Thresh yet. Okay. I'd probably just do this. I, I was rolling to see if I could save a dupe. Because if you hit one set there, you save a dupe for the MMO3. Also, I still need Urgot too. Okay, so now the final win cons just hit MMO3. Like, you might be thinking, oh, but there's only one upgrade realistically to roll for here. Why even roll? Uh, the answer is there's nothing good to play at 8. Literally, like, there's nothing to put in at 8. You just, like, throw in, like, an Alawi, usually. So also, because I have so many 3 star stars, uh, you're actually very likely to have a Mumu now. Because every time the game would have given you a Samira, or it would have given you a set or a Vex, it rerolls it to another 3 cost. Man, I still have 0 Threshes, but it's, it's probably fine. I think from this spot, it's like top 2. If I have to like leave now, I could actually, instead of forfeiting, I could just ult F4, and I'd probably... <laughs> I would probably um, still like win, or I'd probably still end, end second. All right, I mean, yeah, this looks good to me. I don't think there's too much to do positioning wise. It's just like protect my even shroud. God, country is so relaxing. It's nice to have really easy games every now and then. Probably a Vex item. Shoujin? Shoujin or Giant Slayer here? Did you check in? Yes, I did. I've been, I've been paying attention to the tournament discord. Gunblade good for Urgot. Nothing is good for Urgot because he's one star. Let's start the show. Why don't you frontline your cat and Urgot to fast summon Hecarim? Uh, I don't know how you think it works, but that's not how it works. Uh, Hecarim summons after you lose 30% of your health. You don't have to lose your country units. You don't have to, like, int two units to summon it. You just have to, like, lose 30% HP. I'd rather just have him alive. Katarina applies anti-heal. Wait, let me make sure I'm here. Okay. Uh, the tournament should be starting soon. Yeah. 
how are you three star Samira set and Vex but one star Urgot? I don't know, but I'm pretty happy about it. If there was a unit to not hit, it's always the Urgot. He's the least useful. Okay. Sorry, this is the tournament client. I'm just like sitting here waiting for the invite. Hey, I got two. Probably Giant Slayer. Oh no, it's probably Crown Guard at Momo. Yeah, I think it's more important to have an Amumu that can live. Oh, actually. It's probably this. I just realized it's bulk value. This guy is so strong. It's probably just the second. Uh, I should probably roll down. Like, try to hit four Mumus. I can do it. I'm gonna hit four Mumus. Okay, I'm actually close. Um, I probably have to give up on Ur definitely give up on Urgot. Yeah, definitely just like give up on Urgot, look for the Amumu and Thresh, and then play for a second. Uh oh. Wait, I'm oh fuck, I'm the weakest of the three remaining players. Uh, two Mumus, please. One Mumu, please. Give me an A. Uh-oh. Shit. Oh man, am I going third after all this? No, don't make me go third. Come on. I'm so likely to hit, like, I have like almost all the three costs. I'm actually gonna end up going third probably. Well, actually, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's really close. Just beat this Warmog's Lucian. Okay. Okay, I actually don't know what's going on in the tournament, by the way. Like, I'm like sitting here with my tournament client open, and there, there hasn't been any invites yet. I'm like getting paranoid that I'm gonna miss something. Like, I have my client open, I'm just waiting for the invite. Well, I don't get it.
You see, you tell him your new handle. Wait, where? Wait, I, I don't understand where. I'm, I'm looking at the Discord and I don't see what's going on. Let me, let me message Froden. How do the lobbies work? I'm trying to find info. I'm sitting here waiting for invite, but I'm not sure what's going on. I, mean, I got my I got my top two. I feel like a Mumu might change this. Okay, I uh, I just got confirmation on Discord. They said uh, just sit here and look cute. Let's start the show. Oh yeah, what the hell? Wait, the Jin guy died. Interesting. Wait, how did the stronger player die? I mean, the only explanation is this guy must have beaten him, but I can beat this guy. That's weird. It's actually probably a first then. Like, I, I beat him without my Amumu. Hello, not Chipu. Thanks for the four months. Arena's about to be a massacre. Amumu, please. Amumu, please. Hey, 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 hey. No, no. Stop giving me ergots. Just give me the Amumu. Stop that. No. Okay, there we go. That's why. Let's start the show. I I did that just in case for a free remover. I guess I already had one, so it probably didn't matter. All right, Amumu should go crazy here. Amumu 3 is like not balanced. He just gets like infinite stuns and has infinite tank stats. What? Oh my God, okay, hang on. Oh, I can level. That's what I'm talking about. That's not much better. Okay, I have an idea. I think something like this. I was thinking about solo front landing my Amumu, but this is probably overall a little bit stronger. Also, I'd get stunned by the target dummies. I think I win. Like, I think he got a little bit stronger, but he didn't hit Jin too, so I'm, I'm probably fine. Oh, I missed my stun though. All right, what are the odds that it's a cannon one diff? Oh, I think I lose. Oh wait, actually, hang on. All right, aw. Nice try. Okay, not bad. I thought I was gonna win once I hit him in with three, but I'm guessing he must have gotten a lot stronger as well. Second place is fine there. I think if I if I high rolled TG items, I think I could have won. But it's overall not bad. Oh, he put in jazz. That would make sense. That would explain why he got a lot stronger abruptly. Oh, also I just realized. 
what I actually should have done here is I should have removed this uh, D claw. It's very hindsight, but like he's all AD, so like this D claw doesn't do anything on my Mumu. I should I should have put the Crown Guard on a Mumu and then D claw on a random unit like Thresh, and then my main tank becomes a little bit stronger. I didn't want to slam a D claw. I just like had to because I had too many cloaks. Wouldn't Sunfire make a lot of difference there? No. It does not make much of a difference when you're single target damage. Sunfire makes a difference when you do a lot of AoE damage and you don't want them to heal back up. But like Samira, anyone she ults instantly dies anyway. Healing reduction doesn't matter there. Okay, well, it looks like the tournament has been delayed for some reason. Uh, probably, hopefully not by long. So, thanks to that we were able to finish our game in time. Now I'm just like sitting here. Oh, that's really large. Wait, no, too large, okay. All right, so I think we're just sitting here. Uh, I was like scared, I was like, did I miss something? No one was responding to me and th there was no pings, but apparently there's just like internal delay. Uh, okay, so the admins told me on Discord that I'm not doing anything wrong, we're just sitting. I was like, it's like 108 and I'm not sure what's going on, but I, I see. I think what happened was some people didn't show up to the check-in and then they didn't show up to the check-in and then they have to find replacements and my lobby is affected by that I think is what's going on okay so I disabled my meta TFT now I have to put on the uh, the overlay Oh, what the heck? The camera... They want me to fit into this tiny little box. You see this? I'm, I'm, I'm way too large. I'm six foot two. I'm not gonna fit in that box. Give me one second. Let me... Let me, uh... I'm gonna download the other version of the overlay. Thank you very much. I do it for the booba, for the 20 gifted subs. That is very box bobbing of you. Can I get a box bobbing in the chat from all of our subs? Thank you very much. All right, this is the other version of the overlay. Okay, so now I have to put in exclamation mark scores in my title. Hello Raven Clouds. Hello Code Red. Okay, uh, I guess we're just sitting here waiting for the game to start. Yeah, everyone just sit. Let me go ahead and set up my command. Hello, Ralu. Welcome. Let's take a look at this.
Okay, so I'm on the I'm on the player list right here. Seat number 116. Oh, you get 3,500 if you win. I'm down. Hello, Ash Links. Welcome. Are there any special rules for the cup? Uh, I mean, you just play. You just play six games and then try to be in the top half. If you are in the top half, you move on to the next day and so on. Uh, I just want to go in and play my best. And if I don't hit, then whatever. Honestly, if I don't hit like five roll downs in a row, I don't even think I'd feel that bad. I would just say dang, and then I would uh, go play Valorant for a week until the next patch. I thought you didn't qualify. No, I, I qualified. Qualifying was really easy. I, I didn't qualify for top 32. If you're in top 32, you get to skip the entire first week. But the, the LP cutoff was very high. 1322. You know what's crazy? Asa didn't make it by 2 LP. The cutoff is 1322, and he's 1320, and the next guy is 1271. He was like 50 LP ahead of the next 34. And then there's 1322, 1327, 1328, 29, 29, 31, 32, 34. Like literally, there's like 10 players in 1/4th place. Hello, Sam and Yo. Welcome. Also, what's crazy is Asa's rank 1 right now. Like, immediately after this cutoff thing happened, he hit rank 1. So, he still has to play in day 1. Why aren't you in lobby? Uh, I'm, like, really confused what's going on. I... Uh, like, the tournament said it's going to start at 1. I see that Emily Wang is already in her tournament game. She's already playing. And my lobby hasn't been formed yet. So I'm just sitting here waiting. Waiting for the admins to tell me what to do. I I messaged Froden, who is co-streaming the event. And he basically said, yeah, they're still figuring out lobbies. I'm not sure what's going on right now. The, the last thing the admin said in the Discord I'm looking at right now is, hang on, we're troubleshooting. Why don't I see your name on the list? Uh, my name is not Boxbox. Box. My name is this thing, Andoy. Just play country? No, you should definitely not just play country. You should play country if the game gives you country. If you don't get country, you have to hit early country and you have to hit gloves and you have to be uncontested to play country. It's great when it happens, but like you shouldn't expect it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just sit. I'm going to play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. We'll just wait for the lobby to start. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Hello, Igneal. Welcome. They're in game on Froden's stream. He's probably just spectating somebody.
don't know what's going on. No one's responding to me. I'm like scared that they got my name wrong or something. And then they just like. Hmm. Hello, Cataloon. Welcome back from the ad break, guys. Oh, what a nice guy, Froden. I'm, like, really paranoid. So there's a Discord for, like, the tournament that we had to join. And then I've been, like, paying attention to the announcements. And it's basically like, hey, check in. And I was like, okay, I checked in. And then it's like, okay, we'll post the lobbies here. And then I'm just, like, sitting here waiting for the lobby. Okay, I definitely checked in, and the admins reacted. Yeah, if I weren't... If I weren't, like, a... If I weren't a streamer, I'd actually be thinking I'm getting, like, DQ'd right now because I have no idea what's going on and no one's updating me. But I guess Froden here is saying that they're delayed is very comforting, so I can at least just, like, wait knowing that it's probably fine. At 12.58, I messaged the admins saying, uh, like, is everything okay? Am I supposed to wait here for the lobby? And then the admin said, yes, the admins are going right now. I'm guessing that means they're just, like, doing something. And then the most recent message was from 10 minutes ago saying, admins are troubleshooting. But the fact that all the other lobbies have started makes me so paranoid. How long has this been delayed? Over 20 minutes now? Hope everything goes well. Yeah, I hope so too. I'm just gonna play the best I can for six games. If I get DQ'd, it's fine. Or, sorry, not dq If I get eliminated, then it's fine. I've been very vocal about my current dislike for the, the patch. Uh, if I, like, get eliminated, it's fine. I will just take a one-week break and play some Valorant. Try to hit Immortal. They probably started half the lobbies and then something was fucked up. 
Uh, that's what I thought too, but then I'm looking at like the general chat for the tournament on this Discord, and the only people who have said anything is me and Froden. So like, if, ha if, uh, if half of 160 players are having issues, like the way they don't have a lobby, surely they'd also be saying stuff, right? Yeah, like, this delay is going to fuck the whole tournament, because, um... It, like, you have to, like, reshuffle the lobbies, and you have to wait for all the games to finish. Are you, are you able to reach out to anyone else in your game? I don't even know who I'm facing. They haven't told me yet. They, they were supposed to have told me about an hour ago. Ramblin's playing a seven-player lobby. Oh, what the heck? Uh... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it had to do with a lot of players not checking in because they um the the way the tournaments have been run was exactly the same for like 10 tournaments, like the last like four sets. And then this is the first time I think a new company is handling it and they have like a different format. I had to like sign a bunch of forms and I was it was very confusing. Uh, and also, the only reason I didn't, like, get automatically DQ'd was because Annie randomly, like, saw uh, that I had, like, an important email. I actually, like, don't check my email very often myself. And Annie was like, hey, Albert, uh, I randomly opened up your email, and I noticed that uh, you have, like, this ultra-important KDA Cup sign-up for must fill out before noon, uh, otherwise you get DQ'd. I was like, what? Usually you just like sign up via like a Google form and then you like join a Discord and then you like confirm that you want to play. But I had to like fill out like a bunch of legal forms this time. It was very confusing. I wouldn't be surprised if like half the other people, uh, if like half the other people like messed it up. Oh, wait, admin's responding to me. It says the admin is typing. I said, I see the other lobbies have started. Did I miss anything? Okay, admin responded. He said, sorry, there's an error on our end. We're checking with Riot on how to fix it. We'll let you know ASAP. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. Now that I know nothing's wrong on my end, I'm going to go play video games. I was like very paranoid that like, over half of the, uh, over half of, like, the players were, in, or, like, everyone was in game except for me. I was really paranoid about that. I'm gonna play video games. This is my mental de-stressing video game. Oh, yeah, a game that I started playing again, um, a lot of streamers, like, like, five different streamers in the last week asked me about Zomboid. Oh, shit. Firmly grasp it. Yeah, like five different streamers asked me about Zomboid. So I'm thinking of doing that again. I looked through the, the latest mods, and there's some good ones. So I started a small server with friends to test out the mods, and it's looking pretty good so far. So maybe I'll do another streamer server. The problem with the Zomboid has always been the same. It has like the best... All right, let me, uh, let me show my client over here so everyone knows like that we are like waiting for the tournament. Uh, Zomboid has like the best survival experience in an indie video game like ever uh the only downside of zomboid is that what comes with like infinitely open-ended open world exploration and zombie survival is like there's no end game if you can imagine like unless you have like infinite resources it's impossible to make like an end game for this kind of game you can make the game like get harder and harder but eventually it just like runs out of things to do So that's my problem with Zomboid. The first like 20 hours of the game is so much fun. 
and then there comes like this instantaneous like explosion point where once you like have a base once you're stable and like have like a good means of surviving suddenly the game loses all meaning and i don't know how they're going to tackle that problem but uh the moment they do zomboid becomes like the best game ever on steam Yeah, I think, like, right now, the end game is, like, you go to, like, the hardest town and try to, like, live there. You, like, get enough weapons to, like, clear the the biggest town, Louisville, of all those zombies. I think a lot of why, uh, why the game is, like, kind of held back is because of, um... It's because they only have one zombie type. I think that's, like, a, a game limitation. Like, the game engine just, like, can't handle multiple types of zombies. Like... The most variety you'll get in Project Zomboid right now in terms of zombies is, like, some zombies are smarter and tougher and faster. But, like, it's not like Left 4 Dead where there's, like, special infected that have abilities. That'd be a great way to, like, add some endgame content if they just made it so that, uh, the zombies in, like, after a certain period of time, like, start to evolve and get tougher and you need, like, better tools to deal with them. That'd be sick. Uh, one of the mods I'm testing out is this cool endgame mod where it creates like an endgame quest, kind of like the Ender Dragon from Minecraft. It's, it's like pretty standard. You have to like assemble the thing. You have to like go to all the cities in the game, assemble some things, put them together, and then um, call the helicopter and then defend yourselves against hordes of zombies while the helicopter tries to get to you. Oh! Another game I really like, in a kind of similar vein, it's higher budget. It's called Conan Exiles. It's like an it's like barbarian Minecraft, but like uh, the visual detail is really high. Hello, Zeven. The visual detail and like uh, PVE progression is really good, with like a better combat system than Minecraft. And then you still get like the um, you can build like gather resources and then build like blocks, build houses. And then also, you can make your character, like, unusually sexy. Like, I don't know how attractive you think the Minecraft characters are, but, like, the characters in uh, Conan are actually, like, pretty hot. I was, I was impressed. There's also a lot of good mods for it. That might be a game that I'll uh, make a server for. Did the admin say what the problem was? Uh, they didn't say what the problem was, but I, I messaged them saying, like, did I do something wrong? Like, my lobby's not starting, I see everyone else is in-game. And then they said, no, they, they're figuring something out, and they will let me know ASAP. So, like, now that the burden's not on me, I'm just chilling. I, I was, like, sitting here really nervous, because I thought I fucked something up. Because I, I was, like, playing a warm-up game, and I, I basically, f I finished my warm-up game at, like, 105. But I was checking the Discord every two minutes for like the last hour to see if I if I like had to forfeit, and they just like never said my lobby was starting, so I never forfeited. But it looks like we're fine. Oh. Ah. That was pretty bad. Five and a half minutes. Do you like JRPGs? Yeah, one of my favorite series of all time is the Tales of series. Every single game's like Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Vesper. It's always like Tales of like, and then some fantasy name. And it's always like a four player co-op RPG where you like get like eight main characters, choose whoever you want to play. And then every battle, every fight's a team fight. Uh, and it's usually some like random fan fantasy story, but, like it's usually very high quality. The latest game is Tales of Arise, but that one's only single player. I had to um, like find a hacky uh, co-op mod for that to play it. 
I was playing with uh, one of my good friends, but then uh, we ran into this problem where, like, the two main characters of Tales of Arise are, like, they, like, hate each other, and then they, like, grow to love each other. It's really cute. And um, every time uh, the characters would start to romance each other, uh, the friend I was playing with, who's, like, a very large buff man, he'd keep on being like, oh, Albert, come here, baby. And it, it, uh, I, it was hard to take the game seriously. My friend is playing the cute girl character, and I'm playing the guy, and then uh, the the characters like romance at night, and then I my friend is a 220 pound buff bodybuilder is like role playing it. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I guess it's funny. This is what the game looks like. It's kind of sick. It's actually like, it's a really good game. Oh, I think it started. Wait, what? What? Okay, so it looks like what happened is that they fucked up my name in particular. I'm guessing because I have a Korean name. I, I, I checked in under the name, like, BoxBox. I, ch I checked in. The admins replied acknowledging they, they, they saw my check-in. And then they, like, something happened and they didn't think I was in the tournament, even though they acknowledged my check-in. And now they're hijacking a lobby... And they basically are telling a lobby to, like, restart, and then they're kicking someone out for me. I feel bad. I think they didn't see my check-in, or, like, they forgot that I checked in, and then they're kicking someone out. Yeah, they're kicking out someone from the waiting list. Yeah, so I think what happened was, uh... They, like, fucked up because of my Korean username and thought I wasn't in the tournament even though I checked in. And then they, they invited somebody from the waitlist, started the game, thinking... Or, and then they're like, wait, something bad happened. And then they're like, oh, hang on. We, uh, we actually forgot about BoxBox. Box. And then they're now... The game was, like, halfway through. And then they... The admins told them to all leave the game, and then they're kicking someone out. I feel horrible. I, I don't think this is my fault, but, like, I feel horrible. 
Literally, my existence is delayed the entire time by 40 minutes. Yeah, no, I, I didn't make any mistakes. I've been checking in like every two minutes for the last hour. But this is frustrating. Were you late? Nope. I've been on the Discord the entire time. Before the matches started, I was asking them, like, I was like, hey, I follow the instructions, but nothing, like, there's no lobby invite. There's no info for me on the lobbies. What's going on? And they basically said, hang on. And then they took 40 minutes to reply to me. Can someone explain what happened? Uh, I did all the processes to check in, and then I think because my username is Korean, they like screwed something up internally, and they didn't put me in a lobby. They then was like, hey, wait, someone isn't showing up. Let's go find a replacement. And they found a replacement and started the game. And then uh, I've been messaging this whole time since uh, 1250. And then they now realize something happened, and then they are restarting the lobby and kicking the waitlisted player out. I believe that is what's happening so far. Oh yeah, actually an admin explained it right just now. Uh, there was a player that had rightfully qualified that wasn't put into a lobby correctly, and we have to add them back in, so we're kicking a player from the waitlist out. And the player is me. Uh, I was the player that qualified. They, they just posted. Alright, I'm gonna play the ad break. I gotta close my chat. I'll see you guys at the end of this game. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll see you guys after the game. What the heck? Wait, something's wrong with my game. Wait. Oh my god, holy shit. Did you, uh, did you see that? That was really weird. My mouse is like off center or something. I thought I set my settings correctly yesterday. Hmm. I guess I didn't actually launch the game because you can't launch a custom TFT game. All right, hopefully it's all fine now. Well, that was scary. Oh, what the hell? What? What just happened to my game? What? What? Wait. What the? Okay. I'll figure it out after I pick my augment. I don't want to, like, potentially screw something up here.
That's Jazz. No, not in this spot. I have salvage bins, I can summon whatever I want. Okay, I'm glad I didn't crash or anything. Okay, so this is actually gonna be a pretty hard game mentally. Salvage bin equals you can play almost anything from any spot. I should have to keep a good mental track of what I have. I've got bow, bow, rod, tier. It honestly looks like a disco game. Okay, hang on. A little bit less of a disco game now. Could be an RE game. Let me scout. Mm, not sure. AD, open fort, maybe Jax, open fort, maybe Jax, uh, this guy's not even, oh, twin terror, twitch, open fort, disco, okay, I'm summoning everything because it's salvage bin, I've got kind of a disco angle, kind of a, Ari angle. Ari is always so contested. Sorry, I have alerts off, or I can't open my Twitch chat, so I, I can't reply to this. I'm sorry. It's nice that I can slam Gwinsu, so then fix it later. Gwinsu is super good here because I have a front line. Here's Disco if I want it. Rod, Rod. No, Bow, Bow, Rod. Tear Belt. Oh, I actually have really good items for Disco. I actually have like a really good disco pivot. Two Namis, two Terex, a Gragas, uh, red buff Archangels, and a Belt. Really solid itemization here. If I want to play Ari, I have Nashers, Tear, and half a Gunblade. It's also pretty close. I believe I'm getting a new headliner here. Oh, there's a lot of things I could play here. I think a Kaisa also makes me a lot stronger. Kaisa for KDA and then Big Shot can rebuild this Aphelios. I think I need a sword here. Oh, okay, shit. It's probably another rod. Okay. 
Okay, the open forwarders are probably gonna play Ari, so I'm a bit too scared of contesting that. I will play my Disco. I'm a little scared of this though, because it's actually contested. My Disco is actually contested. But I can play this for now, and it's solid. This Nami actually goes hard. But normally Nami has like this issue of like casting, uh, overkilling with her cast, but it actually works pretty well here. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I can just force Disco from this spot and it's very comfortable. Just got slammed to Nasher's Shoujin. He's probably going to pivot. Oh, he's got Salvage Bin. Oh shit, this is the strong player. Uh... Hopefully I win. If I don't win, it's not the end of the world. Don't tilt too hard. But it is huge if I can win this. Oh no. Oh, this Nami, his Nami is high rolling so hard. She's getting like the perfect bubbles to kill before my units can cast. No, it's, it's actually Nami bubble RNG diff. Oh, that's so sad. It's actually so sad. It's literally my Nami, or uh, the Nami barely killed my Lilia before she casted Diff. Goodbye, five streak. Fuck, five streak actually would have been so good there. It's not the end of the world. I can figure it out. Pretty good items. Actually, very, very good items. Very good items. Oh, hey, high roll. I'm so sad. At least nobody has a streak. Okay, so once I break apart this Nami, I have Red Buff Archangel's Bow. So it's probably gonna be like Red Buff Archangel's Shiv. And look for a Gunblade later. I'm pretty sure the other Disco player is pivoting. I need a spell waiver here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna force this. I don't feel like being flexible today. I probably get like a good third here, at least. Okay, my tank items are good. Just think about the back line. So you have red buff, Archangel's Rod. Oh wait, sorry. I don't know why I thought it was Shiv. Uh, Bobo, Rod, Rod, Tier. Red buff, Archangel's Rod. So then you go for a Spark. Cloak on Carousel or Sword. Oh, Sword equals best in slot TF, actually. I'm not gonna lie, this Nami is really funny. Oh, what?
Oh, here, well, this game just got a lot easier. Archangels, red buff. Okay, honestly, I'm not even sure if that was stronger. It might have been stronger to just keep the ultra fast fish. Okay, so what I want here, uh, sword is best in slot, uh, bow is fine for shiv. You can also like basically slam whatever. It'd be funny to grab this Gragas. Yeah, sword if I can. Otherwise, I think it's a spark. Nice. Wait, hold up. We didn't pay for this. Oh, this game is looking really good. Forcing Disco, I wouldn't even say we forced it, but the game gave us a really good spot for Disco, then you hit double the funk, and then you hit a TF. The moment you play double the funk, you are forcing Disco. So then, to then hit a TF naturally is super high roll. I could honestly probably go 9. Sucks I didn't streak earlier, but it's not the end of the world. Don't tilt too hard, focus on getting good top 4s. Oh shit. That echo is pretty good, but it, it's not worth losing five disco for. Or actually, it might be, I think. Yeah. I, I think it is, actually. Like, the main reason why you want to go 5 Disco is because it gives you 2 balls, but I actually don't need 2 balls here. Because of Double the Funk, they all fit into 1. I'm pretty sure this Echo is a decent improvement. Alright, let's scout. Did that guy pivot off? Who was the salvage bin guy? Yeah, he's pivoting off. He has his KDA spent. Cool! Uncontested Disco. This guy has got a Jin. Uh-oh. Blue Lift Jin at 7, that's scary. Oh shit. Um Oh what? What the fuck? Okay, well I have salvage bin, right? So no reason to not just start slamming the shit. It's probably a shiv. I'll just slam it all on Lulu for now. It could have been a Gwinsu's Rage Blade as well. But I think this is better. 
I could actually go eight and then just sit. Like, don't even sell this echo because I naturaled everything. Yeah, I think I just go eight and sit. No one seems too strong in this lobby. Sit, go nine. Sorry, I can't respond to any alerts. I have to have everything closed. I should probably honestly meet my alerts as well. Return on investment? No. Probably murder. Yeah, I think I level up. And then I roll for like a sentinel. Oh, wait. Now I shall keep rolling. Oh fuck, this could get a little dicey. I just need, I just need one sentinel. Wait, hold up. We getting paid for this. Ah, uh, fuck. If I was gonna roll, I probably was supposed to sell my headliner. I was like, oh, I want to just sit on this and go 9, but I immediately hit a TF pair. Uh, I'll do some scouting after this round. This Echo is really good for me right now, though. How many TFs and Blitzcranks out? Uh, a lot of Blitzcranks. Alright, I will roll for TF5. Okay. Alright, well... Now I'm definitely just going 9. I'm like kinda thinking about selling RE set set, because do I really expect a 2 star RE here? I don't think so. Let's go 9. I'm not going to be rolling anymore. 2 star RA would be wonderful, but I'd rather just go 9 up one turn faster. Because you're selling this RA for Sona immediately, because this breaks apart into a Gwinsu sh Shoujin. Wow, the salvage bin actually has gone crazy. Okay, so try to remember what we have. I have Gwinsu's Shojin here, and the frontline items have all resolved themselves. So I just grab a frontline item. Oh, I always want that. So, okay. Uh, or I want like half of a Shiv. Bow is good. Chain is good. Actually, I'm done for. Done for Rod. Rod can become another Gwinsu's. Rod can become a Spark. Rod can become a Crown Guard. It's probably the most flexible item here. Take my Rod, Ari. Cool. I mean, this honestly feels like a low roll lobby. Like, no one's that strong. And I'm high rolling. I forced TF and I got TF. This is like what a lot of those roll downs from earlier should have been like. Well,. No, this is, this is way above average. Let's not kid ourselves. But like, some of my roll downs in the last few days was like, roll for an uncontested TF just like this, and then just like never hit it. So I'm, I'm very happy that I, I, I hit one Blitzcrank early before they're all out of the pool. And then I naturaled my TF too. I was talking to Asa last night. We had dinner. Asa recently hit rank one. I was asking him like, what do you do that other players don't? And a lot of what he said was that he he's like down to take any headliner or I don't know about any but many headliners he's down to take a lot of headliners I uh, oh wait he's dead what oh, I, I just beat the, the guy who got a gin Ziggs uh, I'll hold it, but I'm not even convinced that you're supposed to play it. I'm not 
I think once you get to six disco, if you get to six disco, you can play Ziggs. But like this R is a little bit cuter. I also already have a Shiv. Like Ziggs is like really not that good right now. Lots and lots of Ezreal players. Okay, I'd like to win this obviously, but I'm not entirely sure that I will. I mean, my augments are really good. Maybe. This TFR dual carry is kind of cool. Nice. Sheesh! I've been holding that Paris in stage two. Cool. I mean, we should go nine and then. Uh, honestly, it might be a go 10 game because. I don't need a headliner in TF anymore. What am I even gonna roll for at nine? Well, I'll roll for one Alawi and one Sona. But like, what headliner do I even want here? Try to keep track of my items again. Oh, we had a dupe? This could be a three star TF game. All right, well, oh, I, can't, I can't level yet. It's probably Warmogs and then GG. Is it ever another Gwinsus? But then that leaves your last item pretty awkward. The best combination of two items that I can make right now is JG Warmogs. Ah, oh, fuck. There, there's probably, if you think really hard about it and then break your Ari apart, there's probably something better, but I'm fine with this. It's definitely decent enough. Like, Ari Norma doesn't want JG because she casts too slow, but she's got Disco. She'll be fine. Okay, sec three, you go nine. This dupe. Honestly, it means TF3 is possible. I've got a lot of HP, so I can think about it. You can also just dupe for um, Sona 2. Wait, okay, sack 3, probably saw Echo, and then find something better. Saw Echo and Mord, and then find something better. Bruiser, Zach, Guardian, Thresh. Uh, TF is probably TF3 at this point, because you only hit, need to hit two more, and it's uncontested. Looks super winnable. This RA1 is actually saving me so much HP. I think this guy's dead. Sheesh! I was also holding that since stage two. Oh no, I had to rebuild my Nami, I remember now. Twin Terrors. Maybe at least a top two, and then maybe I can. there's room to try for TF3. I'll, I'll play to secure a top two. And then after that, we can start gambling for a first. Nice, dodge the Zephyr. Okay, so what headliners are good here? Oh my god. That that bug only happens to like 50% of players. It doesn't happen to everybody. It's so annoying. Uh, Zach is probably good. Most frontline is good here. And then TF is obviously TF3. Mm. Sentinel spat, but that's probably always gone. Try to remember... Winsus. 
Quincy, Shojin, JG. Oh wait, no, nobody wants a Sentinel spent. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I, I was thinking of breaking apart that spat, but it's a bit risky. I was a little slow there. Well, at least I have HP. All right, let me get a, get a decent headliner. Okay, that's definitely decent. Uh. Okay, now I can remove Nami. Ah, uh, fuck, I really feel like I can hit TF3. I like, really feel like I can hit it. Or Thresh 3. I'm pretty sure I'm selling this Blitz. Maybe I'll wait a little bit. This crank's good right now. I can wait till it gets a little bit closer. This blitz crank's the literal best headliner I could get besides the three star TF and Thresh. Thresh is a little contested. This item's a little bit wasted, but whatever. Yeah, the only way I can really lose this game and like not go at least second is if I sell my Blitzcrank and then miss. I'm probably supposed to just wait. This, bo this board is so strong. It's like guaranteed top two if I just keep rolling at nine. And then playing for first would be like, oh, you're stronger than me, so now I will ro give up and roll for the TF. But oh fuck, the odds of hitting a TF on there is really high. It's like really high here. Oh, did he just move into me? I can even hit a Thresh 3 once the Thresh player dies. Wait, where's the Thresh player? He might already be dead. Oh, this guy's really strong. Oh, wait. Hang on, get your cast off, get your cast off. Nice. 
Oh, I'm definitely losing this fight. I'm like, oh, I'm really thinking of selling this blitz crank. I get so much weaker the moment I do, though. Oh, he's definitely my sauna. That's smart. I get so much weaker the moment uh, this happens. I don't think going 10 is ever the play, though. Just grab a full tank item. Alright, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. Actually, no, fuck. Uh, let me see my natural headliner. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do this, and without selling my Blitzkrank, I'll, I'll roll for it like that. I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna hit the TF without rolling for the headliner. I'm too scared of uh, selling Blitzkrank and missing. Like, it's not likely to happen, but it's the biggest throw possible. Whereas my team is still pretty good. I could just roll it down at 9 for two natural TFs. Natural Sona. And if I hit a Headliner Thresh, then I can just play that. Oh, it's my disco brother. Okay, well, he's... This guy doesn't care if I clump or not, so I'm just gonna put TF and Sona next to each other. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have the read. He's gonna swap to this at the last second, and then I just swap as well. Oh fuck, am I gonna win without having to do my roll down? Okay. Okay, so we do have to roll down. Uh, this is exciting. Let me roll down a little bit right now. Uh, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. One Thresh, one Blitz, one Echo, a Sona. All right, let's, let's roll pretty fast.
He has one Thresh. Okay, I need two TFs or one Thresh. Okay, think, Albert. How are you going to accomplish this? Uh, I might have to sell TF. What if I just win? Oh, I I almost won, actually. It was really close. I might... Oh, fuck. If I just sell this Thresh and play any, any Headliner, I might win. What? Oh, fuck. I could win. Oh. Oh my god. That's so sad that I actually couldn't hit it. Two fights I like almost won. By like milliseconds. I didn't even get to use my dupe in the end because I hit it I hit everything two star and I didn't get any three stars. So close on those fights. I feel like that Zig's board is stronger than what I currently have, but I wanted to try for the headliner. Oh man. What a what a huge throw on my end. Oh my god. I fucking suck. I actually threw for the three-star Giga Chad content, and then I didn't hit it. Wait, I can't see the... My client's fucked up. Okay, at least I only threw one place in by going for the three-star. I could have just played a normal board. Oh, I probably just won one of those fights. If I focus more on positioning and less on the rolling, I probably just had it. He correctly... Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, my client crashed. Reinvite in a sec, please. Oh, yeah, at least I only threw one point. That really should have been a first. Even without hitting the three star, like, those fights are, like, so close. If I just position correctly. Okay, it's fine. Second place is good enough. If I, like, barely don't make it by one point, I'll be a little sad, but... I don't work going for it. The odds of hitting were so high. I, Thresh or TF were both hittable, and I just hit neither. I can't really complain. I hired the rest of it. Alright, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys game two.
That's me. A lot of units can solo this next round. For beauty. Okay, I don't have any of the units I can solo the next round. Alright, I'm down to split disco again. Maybe a Jax game. Uh, this looks pretty solid. Depending on my items, I might take it. Actually, I have 10 if I just don't buy anything. Honestly, I feel like I'm down. I really like my odds with Disco. Pretty good items. Sticks and stones, no. I like risky moves. Actually, do I like it? I think I'd rather have Leighton Forge because I'm weak right now. Country? No, I don't think it's a country game. I have a uh, Steadfast Heart and then a Tear. It's pretty easy to play Disco here. You could also just play Sentinel Ari. Probably just like mostly loose streaking here. It's a little bittersweet to hit this disco Tarek. I feel like you do take it though. Yeah, I can definitely- oh, wow. Wait. That is unusual. Uh, loose streak augment, 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 loose streak augment. This is the current state of the meta that we're in. Literally all eight players play- are playing for loose streak. So, I will go against the grain and be the one guy that tries to win. Oh, that's what I say, but I just got owned by a guy who actually kind of has a board. All right, down for eight. Down for uh, two loss and a three win. in the discord
I'm looking at the Discord, and all the other players are like, what? There's a lobby that only just now started game two. Someone said, no way I'm, I'm losing my dinner reservation for this, Lamau. Oh man, Ami just bubbled the Gnar. Three gold rod. Okay, bow is the next best one. Should be able to win streak. It's so funny that seven players or all eight players took uh, loose streak augments. Not a single. Oh, I would have played a win streak if I had the option to, but I did not have the option to. Be able to win these matchups. Yeah, she'll be able to win this. Win this for 30 gold, level 5? Not bad. Alright, I mean, if if literally no one will touch Disco, I'm down to be the one guy that plays it and hits all my units uncontested. Okay, what are the- <laughs> Oh god, help me, I'm starting to have thoughts. I'm having impure thoughts about my board right now. I, I could. I should. What's stopping me from just playing Taric 3? What's stopping me? I got an empty Krug. God, I hate that. That's one of the, f the few things I hope they patch soon. Empty Krugs, Madge. Good item. Alright, I can see it now. Two Tarics in my next shop. I'm probably not supposed to roll for it. God, I really want to, but I'm not supposed to. Tarek 3 is not even that good. I got a Nami through once earlier, and my uh, my correct move was to sell it at 8, because Nami 3 is significantly worse than TF2. Nami 3 is like TF 1.5. 
Actually, I'm pretty sure a TF1 with three items does more damage than Nami 3. But Nami 3 is so good early game because she's just single target. Okay, if I lose this, it's all good. Just play tempo. Oh, I got rolled. I got rolled. It's fine. I've got I've got an anvil coming, is what I would say, but everybody has something coming. Literally eight out of eight players picked late game augments. Um Sour Bulk one's okay. Tiny Titans. I feel like parting gifts. Uh no, not with steadfast. Is it bulk? I feel like it's more likely Tiny Titans. Bulk doesn't seem too great here. I have a bit more items than average, I guess. My fans are the reason I sing. Okay, I mean, just play good tempo. Or good econ. Tiny Titans might have been okay there. I hate losing Carousel Pryo though. You're like taking an augment that doesn't make you stronger. It just makes you live longer and then you, you have a much weaker board. It like actively hurts your board because you don't get to, uh, you don't actually have an econ or you don't actually have a, a combat augment. It's not really econ. I guess it allows you to like lose streak a little bit longer. I feel like it's only good with heart steel. I'm really not a fan. I love how Disco is just uncontested every game. As long as I can kind of hit on my roll down. Top four, easy. Let's get this party started. Wait. Okay, if the game gives it to me. If the game gives it to me. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm not gonna roll for it, but if the game gives it to me, I'll take it. Oh, I really don't think it's that good though. Well, it, it actually means you don't have to roll that much on eight. I need to go take a look at what everyone else is playing. No one's contesting me, but I should start thinking about like which of my units are contested, which are uncontested. How many four cuts that aren't mine are being taken out of the pool for me? This guy's young, wild, and free, so he might steal something from me. Items I want are D what? I just got two gold. That's a one in ten thousand chance. I'm pretty sure I want this Blitzcrank no matter what. Blitzcrank's one of those not normal units. Otherwise, I wanted the tier. But Blitzcrank and then Cyberbulk. Zanya actually has a really good delta on TF. I thought it'd be Sniper's Focus before, I'm pretty sure it's Zanya's. I, I think this item secretly goes hard. It's just because it's like a zero from set nine with Zanya's, where like you scale up and then at the last second you're the last one alive. Zanya's is basically three seconds of invo of Stunning your enemy. Your best unit is like hyper scaled up from all your items and disco, and then you're invulnerable for three seconds and they can't hit anything else, so it's just a pure stun as long as TF's the last one getting hit. I've always wanted to try it ever since I saw in the stats that it was really good. 
I guess we'll find out. Level 730 is really good here. Okay. Oh god, somebody saved me from playing Tia. Or, uh, from playing... <laughs> somebody saved me from playing Tarek. I cannot believe I'm actually playing Tarek 3. Uh, if I don't natural, I'm pretty sure you're actually supposed to sell. The the possibility of skipping to a two-star TF is like way too good. But I'm pretty sure if I hit Tarek 3, I can just play um TF1 and I'll be fine. Getting a four star carry would be huge. I don't expect it though. Bard one is not a good carry. Then again, the whole lobby is playing like really weak boards. This guy's playing Corky 2 still. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if you have a Zhonya, Squinces is actually really good. So if I get one, I'll slam it. It's it's always Squinces and Archangels, items that can scale up. I'm not saying that I'm gonna play Tarek, but if the game gives me one right now. All right, let's take a look at the boards. Country, Ari, anything, uh, AD, AD flex, AD flex, uh, looks like Ezreal, Riven. I'm on a streak. Tarek's completely uncontested. I can probably hit this. Alright, I meant... Oh, fuck, I meant TF. Let's see what happens here. Pretty sure when TF's the last unit alive, he'll pop off here. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, don't even need Zanya's Giga Chad. Oh, it's always double bulk here. Double bulk's in. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. Alright, yes, daddy. I'll take the free win. Okay, in that case, it's literally just a full cyber spread. Every single component's so efficient here. Yeah, literally just do a full cyber spread. I think I'm going first. I hit my headliner. My one star frontline is actually totally fine here because I've got double cyber bulk. And then I have a really crazy combo on TF that I haven't tried before, but I remember in set nine, Gwyn Su's Azir was almost the exact same thing. Where like he scales up during the fight, he doesn't do much damage, but then at the end he's like this AP attack speed hyper carry, and then Zanya's procs, and then he kills everything. In theory, it should be like equally good. This is how the roll downs earlier should have gone. Well, sorry, let me rephrase that. The solo queue games I was playing earlier had abysmal roll downs, like uncontested, can't even hit one TF or one blitz. This was like very above average, right? To get a TF headliner at all is already very above average. Usually it's like you hit one TF and you hit like a headliner or Zach or something, you just play it for now. Sometimes you even have to settle for like Guardian and Mumu. 
But like, this is wonderful. I'm gonna try to like, completely leave my TF alone. I just need to get one Archangels on him. And he's just like the best unit in the game. Two, two scaling items. I might even do double, double Gwinsu's. Because Zanya's, even though it's a defensive item, it gives you 45 AP, which is pretty close to a Rabadon's. So you can think of him as having like Gwinsu's Rabadon's right now. But yeah, I recently learned how to use the Explorer, and I noticed that TF uh, has highest delta, or high, lowest delta, largest negative delta, there we go, uh, on Zanya's. I was like, I wonder why, but it actually makes so much sense. Okay, so we probably just want a rod here, rod or tier. Uh, I've already natural the rod before. I guess I've already natural the tier as well, so they're equally likely. Take either one. I guess Rod would be slightly better, actually. Uh, because Rod can turn into Gwinsu's. Could maybe even play JG if I had to. <laughs> Alright, well, let me just go nine. I hate that I don't even know what was three starred. What was three starred? Oh, Samira? Okay, honestly, I'm fine with that because I already faced the guy. Mm, no, if I do that. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm trying to, like, bait the Ezra ult away. If I played my Ziggs on the left, I'd get hyper pop value on TF, but then I lose a lot of, uh,. Alright, then, then my Zanyas might get proc'd early. I think I'm down to just like not get hyper pop value. I think this is, a, this is the finally time we'll see the uh, the Zanyas come into play. Not sure if I'll win, but... Okay, so TF's the last unit alive, Zanyas procs. What? What? He was stunned! Wait, the, the Zanyas is supposed to cleanse the stun! Oh, I, I guess it's not supposed to. Okay. Shit. Hey, I guess it doesn't say that it cleanses stuns. I, I thought it did. The Shiv and the Six is a little unlucky, but whatever. The Shiv was slammed so early, I don't regret it. Probably rebuild this Nami move item to Ziggs. Alright, I need a tier really, really badly. After that, I can take like almost anything. Uh, maybe an anti heal. Oh my god! Holy shit, okay. That- that was literally too perfect. That was exactly the item I needed. It was either a red buff or Morello's and I got exactly that. What the heck? Okay, I got perfect itemization. Nice level up for Lulu. Okay, I'm pretty sure here you're gonna see the, the Zanyas go crazy here. 
TF has two scaling items, and then when he's last unit alive, Zanya go go crazy. Oh fuck, the Zanya's proc'd early. That's fine, it's fine. It blocked one ult. Alright, level up, don't roll. Oh, I just realized that gets better than set. I'm trying to make space for my TF. Don't want to get. Don't want Zonius to accidentally proc on, uh, on other abilities. The only thing I can ma maybe proc right now is that Ezreal ult that we just saw. Like as long as TF is the last unit alive with his Zonius up, I win. Ari pivot. Uh, how am I going to deal with this Riven 3 matchup? Okay, these matchups I can clump a little bit harder. Just don't let that Riven in. It's so funny that my front line's like all, almost all one star, but it, it doesn't matter. It works out anyway. I think I should go 10. Is double cyber such a high roll? Pretty sure I win this. Oh, don't even need my Zonyas. What the hell? What the hell? None of these are that useful. I have like a, a cyber spray. I guess I could like rebuild Gragas make item. Yeah. I'm down to hit a Gragas right here and then TG him. Dang. Such a funny a game. One item on each unit because of double cyber. Okay, there's two melee matchups. So I'll probably stay full clumped here. Put my stuns on the left side. I was really scared of that Ezreal matchup. I'm clumping really hard because I have two out of three chance of melee matchup, but there's a one out of three chance that uh, I get the Ezreal matchup and just instantly die. This TF is so satisfying. He doesn't. He doesn't even Zanyas half the time. Tank Lulu. Okay, it's too... Uh, country, I'm not too scared. I might get Thresh done, but that's whatever. I'm scared of this Riven. Full clump. I got a Tank Lulu. Tulu. I hope I can combine this Blitzcrank and then use the TG to pop the cloak off. Oh, it's a Ghost Board. Nice. All right, this time no funny business. I'm not going to go for three stars. I'm going to just go 10 and win the game through overwhelming synergies. This Raven's going to kick my ass. Okay, I actually don't think there's anything I can do against that Raven. The ghost of Riven beat me. 
I'm trying to think, like, would, would level 10 change this? I mean, maybe a little bit. Let me think about it. Maybe I do just roll at 9 and 2-star everything. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do the same thing I did last game. I'm just going to play for a top 4, or top 2. Uh, which means make sure that I can beat everybody else, which means roll down a lot at 9. Hit 2-star Blitz, 2-star Gragas. 2-star uh, Nami, hit Alawi, hit uh, Ziggs 2, hit a Sona. Let me open my anvil first before the roll down here. Can I get a Gwinsu's? No. Oh fuck, none of these items are very good. I'll probably do like a QSS. Okay. I'm gonna roll a lot. Sentinel Blitzcrank? No. Oh, I should have done Rabadons then. I took the QSS because it was a taxi persona. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna roll the zero here. Try to get second place. Oh, I just faced the ribbon twice in a row. God damn it. At least I have HP. I gotta remember, I have a, I have a TG on Lulu. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, Sona, I'll get an item for you soon. These players are strong. I might actually be going fourth. Okay, let me just keep rolling. Let's try contested, right? Oh, it's surprisingly not contested. Uh, okay. I'm gonna sit. It's surprisingly uncontested. I could try for it. Oh, but I'd have to sell my TF, who, and he's so good right now. Okay, the top two players are too strong, so I'm probably not going anywhere near the top two here. It's just play for a third. I think I win this because of Zanya's. Yeah, let's just lock in a third. Can't do anything against this Riven. Well, can I survive? 16 damage is like like a five or six unit loss. I don't know exactly how many. I 
I killed a few. Okay, alive, alive. Oh shit. A four unit loss would have killed me. Okay, I wanna say he's dead. Okay, top three. I'm happy with that. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do to get a second. I mean, fuck it. Hit a uh, Alawi. Alawi. Sell my Nami, roll once for Alawi. Oh. Okay, try to declump this. Trying to make the bigger clump on my stone. Someone's gonna die in one shot. I'm pretty sure I'm dead, but I'm pretty proud of how I played this game. I really have to pee. Yeah, not bad. Second and third is really good. Oh, I could have been first and third if I didn't throw for content that one round, but it's only one point. Okay, I can finally open my chat. Hello, guys. Oh, something happened in my game. Okay, wait. I, I really have to pee, so I'll be right back. All right. All right, I'm back. Wait, Riven lost? Actually, I guess the Jin 2 guy was really strong. Boxbox, you said that Riven is bad carry for high ranked lobbies. Did something change or was it a high roll Riven? Uh, apparently there's a new China tech uh, to make Riven work. So she's actually good again. The The original Riven strat was not good and they've solved something out. I don't know what it is. I didn't watch the video, but Froden has a, like a 40 minute long video on why Riven is good now, but not before. Hello, Lucario. Thanks for the 25 months. What's the tech? I don't know. I, I didn't spend time learning it. Uh, how do we check the scores? Can someone type exclamation mark scores? Hello, silhouette. Oh, I need to send a screenshot of the wallpaper. Or, uh, sorry, not wallpaper, of the lobby. Okay. Uh, second and third should be like on the higher end. So how many points is a second and a third? What? Wait, it has me here as getting two points. Oh wait, second? Wait. All right, are they flipping it around? Is eight eighth place? Okay, as long as they're consistent, because 
in all the previous tournaments, it was eight points equals first and one point equals eighth. Okay, so I guess they are flipping it around now. All right, wh where am I? So I get seven points and then six points. So I'm at 13 points. So that would put me at like a tie for number 17. Not bad. The average lobby or the average player is at nine. So I'm, I'm like a full four points ahead. Oh, let's go. Asa, 15 points. I was talking to him last night. I was like, what do you think your odds are of making it through day one? And he said 80%. He's like, as long as I don't really low roll, I'll be fine. Something that Asa does, I think it's really interesting. He actually is an RE forcer. Every single game, he slams blue buff Nashers, and then he just like hopes to hit RE, which you wouldn't think the rank one player would do that. But he said, or I asked him like, okay, so how do you do it differently so that other players like aren't as good as you? Like, what makes you rank one and not other players if you just, like, also do what many people do and slam Ari items and play for Ari? And he said, uh, it's his tolerance. Uh, like, if he doesn't hit Ari, he has, like, a list of, like, the next seven best headliners that can kind of take the items. Yeah. And then he said he's really not greedy with what headliner he gets, and he'll take the first thing that's acceptable and then go nine. Which I thought was really interesting, because uh, I personally, the poorer I get the more greedy I am with Headliner, because, like, the more I feel like I have to salvage the situation. Asa just instantly takes um, the first decent one. He said, like, he'll play Ezreal with Ari items. Uh, he'll just, like, play AP Ezreal until 9, if he has to. And then he even mentioned, like, taking some two co uh, some 3 costs, which I, like, really didn't agree with. He was like, yeah, I'll take Guardian Amumu. I'm like, why would you ever take Guardian Amumu in a Sentinel RE game? He'd play like four Sentinels, two Guardian with a Guardian Amumu and one One Star Ari. I'm like, I mean, he is rank one, so maybe he's onto something, but that doesn't sound correct to me. I feel like I would never settle for an Amumu. I might settle for an Ezreal. Amumu headliner is very good. I mean, I'm sure Amumu is a great unit. I just don't believe that it's worth playing an Amumu when you could in the same role hit an Ari, or like in the next role hit an Ari 2, or an Ezreal 2, or a Blitzcrank 2, or at least like a Mordekaiser 2 with a Sentinel headliner. But like, Asa is 1600 or 1700 LP rank 1, so maybe he's onto something. I I talked to him last night, I was like, when you do your roll down, do you like, do, do you buy and sell? He's like, why would you ever buy and sell? I was like, Oh, you don't know about the headliner rule? And he's like, no, what headliner rule? And then I told him about how, like, once you see a headliner, you can't see the same headliner uh, for, like, uh, for five rolls. You can't see the same headliner, and you can't see related headliners for five rolls. And then uh, I was like, I told him, like, oh, if you see a Spellweaver Lulu and you skip it, you can't see an Ari KDA or Spellweaver Ari uh, for five rolls. And he's like, what? I didn't know that. And then... um. He, uh, th there was a rioter at the table with us, and then the rioter said that he believes that you can still find KDA Ari, just not Spellweaver Ari. But I have never seen that happen before. I'm pretty sure a skipping a Spellweaver Lulu locks you out of both. And then Asa then checked VODs, and then he said, I was, I was right. Uh, once you skip the Spellweaver, you cannot see uh, either form of Ari. And once you skip the country, you cannot see either form of Samira. So, Asa was like, this is, like, mind-blowing. I, I was actually very surprised that he hit rank 1 without knowing that. <laughs> I 
What if you buy and sell? Then it resets and you can still hit it. One time I bought and sold a KDA and you go and hit a KDA Aria next drop. Is ranked really that big of a deal? A diamond player made it to the final lobby. Are you talking about the Vegas land? Vegas land is incredibly different because it was released during a patch. It happened right after a patch. So whoever like got the correct read on the patch quickly was significantly advantaged. Like I'll put it in perspective here, like Broccoli almost won the entire event averaging like a 1.5 because he found out that Caitlyn was really good and true damage spam in particular was good, right? Like ev nowadays everyone knows that, but he was the very first one to figure it out like after the patch and play it correctly. Broccoli is Grandmasters. He didn't even qualify for this tournament. He was on the wait list. He might've like barely got in through wait list, but like what I mean to say is like, it's more important to have a good read on the patch for a tournament than it is to like be high rank. Uh, that matters early on in a patch. This tournament is happening late in a patch. So like everybody has time to catch up any tech, any tricks, uh, any good builds has already been found. So good, every player has like an equal time, equal amount of time to like figure it all out. So like rank does matter if the tournament happens late into a patch, and rank doesn't matter if it happens early into a patch. But yeah, like Ari Sentinels was play. You could have played this during the Vegas land, and if you were the one of the, if you figured it out that it was good. You could be like Diamond 4 and probably have won the entire Vegas land. But like, not a single person played it, right? Or at least like not a single person like went into the lobby with in the intention of playing it. If you happen to be the one who finds it, you don't even have to be high rank, you, you would win. <laughs> if you stumbled upon the best build. Why does Ace have to play in day one? Uh, he didn't make it to the top 32 cup by two LP. He then hit rank one the same day, which is really sad. Um, are we just waiting for the next game? What's going on? If you skip TF, you won't find Blitz. Uh, if you skip Disco TF, you can't find Blitz Crank. <laughs> if you skip Disco TF, you can't see dis you can't see either form of Blitz Crank. If you find a Spellweaver Lulu, do you buy her and then sell her? Yes. If you're looking for Ari. <laughs> if you see a headliner that is the same trait as the one you're actually looking for, you have to buy it and sell it, which is very frustrating. Uh, the writer I was with described it as a lot of mental calories because you have to like, while managing everything else in your roll down and on a time limit, you have to now also think about buying and selling like unrelated or the related headliners, which is really frustrating. Okay, I think my lobby was just formed. Can I get, can I get another support item? Finish Archangel, finish Tempest, or get Cosmic Drive. Did you play this in the Shouldn't they just remove that? I I don't think they should remove it, but I think they should have told people that it existed. 
because think about what happens if you don't or if you do remove that rule then you might be rolling for an Ari and then you'll hit like Poppy then you'll roll again and you'll hit Poppy again and then you'll roll again and you'll hit like Poppy a third time it's like wow thanks right All right, four more games. All I have to do is just like be decent. Even like a six is okay here. Uh, m both of my games today were pretty lucky. I played Disco on Contested both games. I hit on both games. I'm pretty happy. Uh, we went se we went second and third, which puts us puts us uh, four points ahead of average. Wait. Wait. One point five, two point five, four points ahead of average. Yeah. I honestly like if it's gonna keep being uncontested, I'm down to just play it. Like, I doubt I miss like on three out of four roll downs. Although yesterday on stream I missed four out of four roll downs, and that was pretty mad. All right, I. Uh... Is this tournament just for NA? Yes. I believe there are other forms of this tournament in other regions. I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys at the start of the game. I gotta close my chat now. I'll see you guys later. Wish me luck. I'm the Wang is not doing very well. No, this is the, I hope she'll be okay. Oh, imagine I get Zanyas. Holy shit. Wait, if I get Zanyas, I actually just like win the game. Mercy has no flavor. Hold any now mana zane's pretty good. Mana Zane Ari is kinda crazy. Don't think I'm buying this Udyr or Olaf. Oh, country? Maybe if I get a collector. Mercy 
enemy has no flavor. I think I'm supposed to open my anvil here. Eh, not yet. There's no hard decisions yet. I can wait one more shop. If I see like a country Kench, then suddenly I know exactly what I want. If I see a Mosher Vi or Punk Vi, I know exactly what I want. Someone opened Diamond Hands, Gambler's Blade, Mana Zane. Okay, no one's opened up Azanya's yet. Twin Terror? No. Crap. I don't like any of these. Oh fuck, I really don't like these. Oh fuck, all, all of those sucked. Literally every single one of those was bad. Uh, this is like a really unlucky start. I won't complain too much because I high rolled the entire first two games. But holy shit, uh oh. Uh, every single one of those artifact anvils was bad. I didn't kill a unit. Okay, I definitely need to like basically open fort here. Fuck, three bad artifacts. Okay, playing for a sixth. Annie headliner. Uh, this guy got a Zanya's. Oh shit. I definitely cannot contest Jax here. Even if I hit, I'm weaker. I'm probably not playing country. I don't think you can play country on a loose streak. It could actually be Annie reroll. Oh fuck. Yeah, it's it's probably get a tier go any reroll, honestly. Oh, but I, I don't think it's that good here. I could have sold all for 40. That might have been the play. I think you should hold on to these Annies. If the game like naturals you and Annie 3, you should probably play it. This is really rough. It could be a Disco Force, honestly. Gunblade Sunfire. God damn it. Ah. He sold his whole board, and then I faced him. I even went to his board. There's really nothing you can do about this. All right, I'm just gonna try to play a standard game and like, oh, these items are so bad. It's either tier if I want to play Annie. I mean, honestly, maybe I can just play Ari here. Maybe I can just play Ari. And look for tier. If I get a spat, things lo are looking up. None. Uh, oh shit, he's gonna take the jacks. It's probably the bow. Fuck. I'm pretty sure it's the rod, but oh my god, it's a one gold rod. This is actually so sad. I, I think I'm playing Ari. I don't think you can lose streak into disco. It's not even a lose streak. Oh shit. Wait, I'm gonna hang on to these Annies in case the game like really gives it to me. 
Yeah, if the game really gives it to me, I'll play it. But I'm probably going to just play Ari, but like from behind. I if I get a sixth place, I'm still in good shape for the tournament. You have now reached 100 flush today. What? Oh, oh, it's because I said Ari from behind. Yeah, this game I'm playing for a sixth. I think a fifth would be pretty lucky here. Like, I mean, who knows, right? I could still hit on my roll down. Let's try to not tilt yet. The problem with Hedge Fund is that it's, it's a very first or eighth augment. And I, like, really did not want to play for first or eighth, but I didn't like my other choices. Oh, wait. This is actually really good. This is actually really good. Oh my god, I'm actually just gonna force Disco again? I mean, I could. I actually, I actually have a setup for it. <laughs> I can also just use Gragas as like a temporary tank and then go Sentinels. I mean, let's see what our items give us. If it gives us me blue buff, then I'll play Ari. I really don't feel like Twisted can be played from behind. Only Ari can. Like, the build has to be, like, above average for it to work out. Oh, I hold the Sentinel. Oh, wait. I just realized. Do I still get Holebreaker here? Yeah, you do. Okay. All right. Try to play. Try to flex between Ari and Twisted Fate. I mean, most likely my items will tell me what I'm playing here. I would like to play Twisted Fate, but like I know Disco sucks. The reason why I won the previous games was because I high rolled it, and I'm not high rolling right now, so I don't think you can go for Twisted Fate. Here's a tier. One more tier for Ari items. What do I see here? Um, you're always slamming a gunblade here, no matter who you're playing. Get rid of one of the swords, and then probably steadfast heart. Okay. Uh, one wasted sword, but it's probably Ari. Fuck, I can't make up my mind. Well, I mean, my heart wants to play Twisted Fate, but I know he's so weak. Ari is really strong. It's pretty easy to lose streak, get first dibs on the Ari. I don't think you can play Twisted Fate like without a full combat prismatic augment. Usually you go like three combat augments. Tiny Titans would be really good here. Then I could just like full lose streak here. It's probably not Endless Hordes. I don't think it's Arena Relics either. Wait. I'm actually down. Oh, fuck. This could be a huge throw, but I feel like I personally have a lot... <laughs> it could also be Tiny Stite. I actually really like Cursed Crown. Okay, it could be a huge throw, but... I need one spell weaver.
Okay, so uh, Curse Crown means play some combination of Disco and KDA. I'm actually fine with this loss. Oh, am I fine with it? I don't know if I'd say I'm actually fine with it, but what else can you really do? Make me hurt you. Okay, so I'm going to go 7, and then I'm going to roll a little bit. Curse Crown could be a huge throw, but I personally like it a lot. I find playing around it to be really satisfying. I think if I grab a bow and do Shojin, Gunblade, Nashers, that can be played on both Ari and TF. So even though it's not best in slot for either of them, it's like good enough. I think I'm down. So I'll grab a bow here. Unless there's like an Ari or a TF on Carousel. Oh, actually, I just realized something. Something really scary. I just remembered that Curse Crown is particularly bad in triple prismatic lobbies. It's really good in one prismatic lobbies. Uh oh, that's really scary actually. Oh, TF on Carousel? There's a spat. There's a spat. Oh my god. Wait, something happened? <laughs> oh my god, that spat? That spat could have been like a jazz spat. Oh, I'm like too scared. Cause I wouldn't have a slammable item. But it could have been a jazz spat. If I waited long enough. Or it could have been a KDA spat. The problem is I didn't have like something to be completed right now. Whereas this TF is immediately really good and then uh completes Well, completes a blue buff if I hit Ari. But yeah, I'm gonna sell this Gragas, I'm gonna roll a little bit. Actually, do you even need to roll? Okay, I'm not even sure if you need to roll. I'm just gonna slam the Shojin. Kills the sword. Okay, so every time I go Curse Crown, I play a combination of, of Disco or KDA because both of them have big team-wide buffs. It's scary to do it in a tournament, but I could honestly tank one eighth and still be in okay shape. And I feel like decently confident about it and I didn't like my other options. Oh wait, fuck. That doesn't even work because my Gragas has three items. Okay. Don't worry, Albert. You're gonna all in this and it's gonna go fine. You're gonna all in this, it's gonna be fine. You honestly might go eighth. You have literally two lives. You're either gonna hit on this roll down or you're not gonna hit and you're gonna instantly die. Oh god. I'm actually gonna go away. This guy is too strong for me right now. I don't have any damage. 
Oh god, I'm 100 gold cursed crown. I'm either gonna win out or I'm gonna instantly die, and I think mo most likely I'm instantly dying here. All right, here we go. It's do or die time. Build the craziest board of all time or die. Uh, it's not the best KDA pattern, but it'll do. Alright, so what are we doing? We're gonna look for... I don't even want a team planner. It's just a mix of the Ari and the TF build. Both are playable here. Get them off my floor. Nashers. I gotta keep rolling, I'm pretty sure. Trojan, Gunblade, Nashers. I'm so dizzy. There's not really room for Jin. Okay. Oh, am I just dead? I didn't position. Hang on. Okay. Oh my god, I'm alive. I at least get to see my next augment. I didn't position, I didn't get Hullbreaker value. Force Pulver through Sentinel. Oh, it's not the egg, that's for sure. Oh, Lucky Gloves is really good here. Alright. Try to fix whatever this is that I'm doing. Okay, it's probably not Disco. I'm, I'm really stressed out. Uh, I like have a pretty good KDA board right now. Uh, I don't have enough Sentinels though. Oh no. Wait, am I dead? I might be dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. My Ari died early. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> my Ari got sniped. I think what happened was the Zed went here and then... Oh my god. Depression. Oh, I actually had a pretty good board too. I just had to like not get unlucky positioning. I didn't finish rolling. Too slow. Oh my god, that actually could have been a win out. My board was pretty crazy. Lucky Gloves was so good there. I should have hit some two stars and finish my board. What did I lose to? Yeah, I see what happened. The Zed just like went perfectly around my front line because of unlucky matchmaking. God damn it. I'm so much stronger than him. I just got bad fight. Bad fight RNG. It's fine. The tournament's still playable even after this eighth place. I hated starting off with a uh, hedge fund. That made me so angry. Because like you basically have to play first or eighth once you have to start hedge fund. Then we low rolled the anvil. Oh man, but I actually like solved it at the end. I'm just too slow. It's literally like I put my Mumu in the top right instead of the top left. And because of that I lost. I could at least salvage like a sixth otherwise. Or even one out, depending on how good my board was, because my Ari was really crazy. 
Uh, it's fine. I will I will take the blame for this because I didn't scout my matchups. If I saw that Zed, I would have moved my Amumu, but I'm too slow. Also, you could probably say like I was probably gonna lose this this Jax three anyway. So maybe it's fine. Maybe it was like doomed from the start. Cursed Crown is like super bad if you uh, have triple prismatic. So like you can take Cursed Crown at the beginning. You just hope that you don't get triple prismatic. The best combination for Cursed Crown is like you go prismatic and then you like silver and gold. Because there's less chances of people getting high roll combinations that can beat you. And then on average with two funds you'll just win most matchups. It's fine. I will just play my best and hope that I can still make it. Let me think. So I just went two, three, and eight, which puts me on average placement of 4.33. It's actually still one point ahead of average. But I must be careful. I'm on my on my, my last life. Yeah, I probably was not going to do much better, honestly. Riven 3 and Jax 3 are both going to kick my ass. This guy in particular is like super high roll. He was he was not hitting. He was really far away, and then he got Infernal Contract, and then he just instantly won the game. Well, I don't know if I'd say he instantly wins the game, but he gets bailed out to a fourth. He will spike and win a lot of games, and then... Uh, eventually, because he's stuck at level 7, he won't be able to do much, but... Like, the alternative was he dies in two fights. God, Jax 3 is so obnoxious. Jax 3 with Zanyos and Radiant BT. Oh my god, Riven 3 just died to him. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, it was fine. I was gonna lose to this guy no matter what. My my mistake was taking Cursed Crown in a prismatic or triple prismatic lobby. Because once you see that it's it's double prismatic, I believe it's a 50-50 chance of the last one being prismatic. There there was like some flow chart. Um Let me see if I have the I have the old one. So like what this means, like if you see prismatic into prismatic, it's a 50-50 of gold or prismatic at the end. Not all augments are equal. Or like the probability is not the same every round. It's different based on what the previous augments were. Yeah, it's fine. I think my mistake was just taking Cursed Crown at all. I don't even remember what my other options were. What were they? Oh yeah, there was like Tiniest Titan, which I could maybe take and then try to go 10, but I didn't think it was gonna happen. If you're playing two Prismatic augments down, uh, in exchange for like plus 100 gold it's not even that good you will build a board of legendaries and then lose to like two star four costs with three combat augments all right i could have taken jeweled lotus jeweled lotus might have been like a six or seventh place still win. I've just learned my lesson. Don't get unlucky. Having to take Hedge Fund was so sad. Missing on the Artifact Anvil so sad. I shouldn't have taken Curse Crown though. That was my fault. I think I could have gotten 7th. I'm just gonna watch the Jax. Zanya's Jax is really fun to watch. It's like beyond broken. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy actually goes like first. Just because like it's a prismatic, or it's a Zanya's BT Hodge, but the BT is radiant. 
And then he's got a three-star Lux with pretty good items as well. Like, this Jax is never dying. He can't go eight, but, like, does he even need to? He could just chill and three-star all units. He even low-rolled his target dummy, and, like, it's probably fine. Actually, I mean, Chalice ain't bad. Holy shit, this Jax doesn't even get close to dying. Oh, I actually learned a really overpowered secret. Uh, I actually think this guy's doing the secret. Um, there's a ridiculously overpowered EDM trick. And basically, I, I, I think the guy just did it. Oh my god, he's going to get a, a Jazz spat on his head. He just wins the game. Um, basically what he's doing is he has a 3-star Lux and a 3-star Jax. So, Jax wants to be on the same side as the enemy carry, but if, the, if he's not on the same side, you know what you can do? Before the fight starts, but after you see your matchup, you can use the EDM selector and move it to Lux. Because if the enemy carry is right here, your Jax isn't going to hit him from here. But your Jax will hit him if you EDM Lux and then Jax and Lux blast the carry in the corner. So there's no counterplay. If you're on the same side, Jax kills you. If you're on the opposite side, he EDM selects Lux. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure he's doing it. Let's watch him. No. Like, I, I didn't even know that you could swap your EDM after you see your matchup. Because I was like, oh, that's broken. That'd be like, there's no way they would let that happen. That's way too broken. Uh, but I found out yesterday at, my, at the dinner uh, that that's possible. So let's watch. Let's watch. You see how he selected Jax? He's going to swap to Lux if the enemy carries right here. He's probably not going to swap here. He's on the same side. He doesn't swap. Isn't that bug abusing? I don't think it's a bug. I think it's just like Riot actually let that happen. It definitely is overpowered. Is it a bug? Probably not. Yeah, okay, so he just did it there. Let, let's watch him again. He should really be rolling. Like, you should just roll for set two and set three in this guy's spot. Like, I'm pretty sure this guy should just be rolling a zero. He can't level up because of Infernal Contract. He should just be rolling. I uh, try to, like, salvage as many placements as possible. I mean, fuck it. He's probably going first because of that, that EDM trick. Hello, Stolen Recluse. Okay, so let's, let's watch. If the enemy carry is on this side, he's, he's going to swap the EDM to Lux. I think he's going to do it here. Oh, huh? he chose not to. <laughs> Maybe he knew it was a ghost board, so he was going to win anyway. Okay, wait, I gotta pee really quick. Um, let me know if he does the trick, though. I'm curious. Oh, his carry's on the other side, so he EDMs the locks. Wait, he didn't. He doesn't know? Hmm. 
He didn't do it. I'm surprised he didn't do it. But I guess he won anyway. I guess you could argue that the, uh, what was it, the Jin? The Jin was on the other side, maybe he wanted to kill it. Or, there's honestly just a chance that he doesn't know. I didn't know the trick until uh, last night. Holy shit, this Jax just went in there. Oh wait, this Jax might be dead. Holy shit, that's like a 40 unit loss. They're all one life. Wow, that's so, the one Jax ult would have saved like 10 HP right there. I think he's supposed to EDM the Lux in the Ari matchup and try to snipe the Ari. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, maybe you just like try to like burst through it. He was very close. Okay, I, I think he just doesn't know. Cause if he, if he EDM his Lux, he instantly wins this. I think he actually doesn't know. Which again, is totally fine. I didn't know either for a long time. But yeah, if he EDM'd his, uh, his Lux, then the, the Jin instantly dies and the guy only has one carry. Yeah, I mean, he was level 10 though, so maybe it was unwinnable. But yeah. In short, very overpowered EDM trick. Uh, let's see, I went two, three, and eight. So as long as I place above average for the rest of the, of the game, I'll be fine. Two, three, and eight, which means I'm at 14 points now. And the average player is at like 13.5. Yeah, the average player is at 13.5 points. Uh, in this tournament right now. And then I'm at 14, which is a little sad, but it's fine. That was my own fault. Shouldn't take Cursed Crown in Triple Prismatic Lobby. Alright, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys at the start of this game.
Okay, good item. Always nice to start off with a reliable slam. Uh, true damage. Probably not true damage. I can do better. Uh, let's just do our default. So hold, hold this Corky, hold this Nami, and then I only have a tank item slam, so I'll just like see what headliner I hit and then play around that. I am so down for just like an easy disco game where I'm uncontested again, and then just let my fate come down to if I hit or not. One, two, three, four. Consistency. Uh, I'm too scared of doing consistency here. Super high chance of fucking it up. Unless I think the whole lobby is really weak. The whole lobby is kind of weak, actually. Oh, I think I'd rather do risky moves than consistency. Consistency is super first or eighth. And I'm not like sure if I can... Yeah. I think I'd rather do risky moves here. Actually, no, probably just buried treasures. I think I'm most likely playing Ari from this spot. So. Let's take a Gunblade here. Yeah, Sentinel start, Gunblade. Uh, I mean, a Asa does it, and it looks pretty solid when he does it. I should probably well, full level here. I think I can play first streak. I was supposed to level last round, actually. It's all good. Mm, what's my strongest board here? Probably Bard. Probably two Bards, actually. Alright, I need a Rod. Okay. I... This looks decent. I'm gonna try for a streak. Oh, maybe it was risky moves. If it, if it was Ari, it's like always risky moves because it's so important to be first. I took buried treasures because it was like I can probably streak. I saw that the whole lobby was really weak. Standard Ari game. Uh oh. <laughs> I just saw another guy who is the exact same as me. Nasher's Tear Slam. Uh oh. Okay. This sounds hella troll, but I could still play Disco. <laughs> I could still play Disco from this spot. In terms of flexibility, chain is probably really good here. Just slap three items on a tank. Uh, in terms of setting up for Ari, probably Rod. No, tier. Oh, there's no tier. Uh, hopefully I get the chain. Nothing else here is good. Okay, there's two players who are like hard forcing Ari here. I see them right here. They're both the same, just like slam the Ari items. Which scares me a little bit, to be honest. Let the begin. 
I honestly, I honestly could make it work. Uh, the jacks. I honestly could make the jacks work. Oh, I have heart steel. Oh, is it worth it though? I think I'd rather just streak. I think I'd rather just streak. If you play heart steel and win, you get plus four gold. But if you play heart steel and lose, you get six gold. I'd rather just win. Okay, I can through. I can through a contest Ari, or I can play uncontested Twisted Fate. I mean, like I'm honestly down to contest the Ari if the game gives me a blue buff here. If the game does not give me a blue buff, then I will reconsider. Oh, blue buff or Nashers. Ari. Okay, if I win, I can make 20. I'm pretty sure I win, though. This guy's really weak. Oh, this guy's really weak. I think everyone's trying to have good econ so they can be the first one to hit Ari. Another blue buff slimer. Oh, fuck. There's like four Ari players. I think I actually keep this Nami. Uh, well, fuck. No, I, I probably shouldn't keep it. If I actually play Disco, I don't need a two-star Nami. If I play Disco, I only need a one-star. Yeah, I'd rather keep all the Sentinels. I want to pivot out of this Jinx. She's not that good. She's like serviceable for now. When was the last time I saw a headliner? When did I buy this Cassante? I think I bought it on 1 4. I think it, I, it's two more shops until I see my next headliner, I think. I was like, I kind of want to see a new headliner, but I don't want to sell my Cassante because he's solid right now. Okay, wait, game's kind of giving me a blue buff. Imagine a world where it just gives me blue buff right here. I'm just like, holy shit. Probably sell this Nico. I feel like I always get baited by Nico. I feel like I have so many sentinels, it's not worth considering this, Nico. I think it's gonna be hard to disco if I wanna play it. Don't have Tarek too, don't have Nami. Ah, but then Ari's gonna be so contested. I'm never gonna get a tier. Unless I natural it. But I don't think I can get it off Carousel. Actually, I can actually scout that. I can see how many of my opponents want tiers. I need a better carry than this Jinx. My front line is so good, my back line is not it. <laughs> I'd be on to level, level up and roll like twice. Try to hit a Mordekaiser too, and then a backliner. A one star four cost is perfect here. Or even just a Senna. Interno. Uh, love me some magic wand here. Uh, Jewel Lotus is also good. Magic Wand. Magic Wand sets up for TF right now. That's probably just Jewel Lotus. Wait, fuck, why did I do that? I 
I just realized I, I didn't actually need to do it. I mean, if I keep winning, it's great, but... I could actually play Karthus here. Oh my god, it's happening again. This is what eliminated me last game. Okay. Oh my god. If I lost this round, it actually would have been the biggest throw of all time. But winning this round is like... So it's so huge. Oh. Wait, someone died? Oh, never mind. He just DC and re reconnected. Oh, oh, someone keeps DCing. If I zoom in, look at this. If I zoom in, the icons. I was very considerate that they keep uh, pausing for him. If I get a rod, I could actually play Karthus here. I'm gonna hang on to him. I feel like I should play this Poppy somehow. I might actually have to sell this Karthus right now. I, I really need 10 gold. Also, he's not my preferred choice. I'm pretty sure I'd rather play TF, and I'd rather play... Ari first if I can hit, and then TF, and then Karthus if I can't hit. Karthus with a... If I hit Rod for Archangel's Gunblade, Karthus could be played. Okay, I would say now I could actually lose my streak and it's still playable. But I'm really nervous. I'm so contested. Maybe I get a sword and just do Shojin and just settle. Shojin's actually pretty flexible because you can play Ari or TF here. Wait, there's like five Ari players this game. There is a rod if I wanted to do uh Oh fuck. There is a rod if I wanted to do. Uh, Archangels, but it's really bad right now. This is definitely like the correct item slam if I want to win right now. I feel like Bard Nami. Nah. Bard Nami might have been better. Yeah, Bard Nami might have been better than uh, Aphelios Senna. Two star Bard, one star Nami versus two star Aphelios, one star Senna. It might have been better. Oh fuck, it probably was better. It also pivots nicer into TF. It's fine, this isn't that much worse. And like, they're all getting sold anyway. All right, think. Think, Albert, think. Here's a Caitlyn. All right, kind of a weird pivot, but it could be a Caitlyn. Right, like Shojin's kind of a Caitlyn item. Gunblade's not really, but... Oh, no, it, it can't actually be because you have um Spark. Ari is already so contested. I think I'm... Oh my god, the whole lobby. The whole lobby. Ezreal, Ari, Ari. Ezreal and Ari. Uh, Ezreal. Uh, this guy doesn't have any units. I th oh, he's getting ready to play Riven. And this guy already has two Aries. 
I think I'm actually making a disco pivot. I got HP. I could probably actually pull it off. Okay, good streak. Okay, I'm gonna do the roll down now, or like on 4 1. I could wait and then do it on tempo with more money. But if I do it now, I can hit Ari, I can hit Blitzcrank, I can hit TF. If I wait, I can only hit TF. So I'm gonna have less gold to roll, but like my thought is that like surely I hit one of these, right? There's no way I miss all of this, right? Oh, Shiv is good. All right, eight bit. Uh, no. No. Okay, all right, good enough, good enough. Got a little dizzy there, but I have a board. Boom, boom, and then Shiv on Bard. Oh my god! Oh. Ah, uh, fuck. I, I, I know. I, I, I have Shiv, or I have Spark already. It's not the end of the world, but I definitely did not need to slam that. I just denied myself two items. Oh! Wait, actually though. <laughs> actually, Salvage Bin <laughs> is perfect here. Okay, um... I don't think I can do anything about it right now, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, that item was not good. Okay, actually saved. Well, sort of, like, I can't take a combat augment now, but I can get almost guaranteed good items on my TF. Uh, if I'm willing to sell this Mordekaiser, which I'm not right now, but if I'm if I were willing to, I could uh, make an Archangels right now. Oh, Archangels actually so good here. Can we get one more cast? Oh man, one more cast would have won. Mm, I think I have to keep rolling for one Blitzcrank. Actually, no, I would say you should just go nine now. Yeah, I think you just don't even play this York. I think this is just our board until we can hit a Blitzcrank. The R is just way too contested. I have a, I have a million HP, so I could probably like five loose streak this and be fine. The best case scenario was hitting an Ari, but it was so contested, I didn't expect to. I think this is like reasonable. I'd rather have Disco TF, but Dazzler TF will do fine. Dazzler TF actually does better at nine, because at nine you play Ziggs and you can get rid of the Spark and the Shiv. I uh, I have a tier, a bow, glove, cloak. Okay, so I need um I need a rod. Oh, thank you, thank you for the tip. Man, salvage bin was actually really good here, except for the fact that the item I got was really bad. I did not need a glove and a cloak. I needed like tank items or rods or bows. 
So most of the items. Okay, there's two rods here. I can probably get one. Oh, I'm sad I didn't hit a Blitz Crank Bite. I know he's expensive. Or he's premium. Oh, shit, really? Really? Wow, oh, there's... Oh, my God. Everything sucks. These items are all horrible. I can slam a Nashers on TF, but it's it's pretty bad. I think I wait. I think I wait. Just play weird items on Lulu for now. Okay, honestly, if my items on Lulu were gonna be this, is this even better? Yeah, if these were gonna be my items, is this even worth it? I can sell the Mord in the Cassante next round. I can, I can sell a lot. I might have to keep rolling, honestly. Fuck. I, I like really need a Blitzkrieg. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to 9. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to 9. I'm too weak. Or if I do, it's going to be like with like two two gold left. Or, uh, level 9, like, 2 HP. Another cloak? This is gonna be a headache. I, I think I have to roll. My front line is like too weak. Uh, I could go nine in one round, but it's so dicey. I I could I could try. Okay, I need a tier. Okay, no tier. Fuck. It's probably actually Rabadon's here. And then... Twin Seuss. That's probably TG. Oh, these items actually suck. I think I'm attempting 9, but like, because if I roll, I can't hit that much. If I roll down all my gold, I can maybe hit like a couple things. I think I just have to like sack 2, go really low, and then go attempt 9. It, it fucking sucks, but like, oh, this game was just so sad with the items. And the, with how contested I was. Hmm, I go 9 and start donkey rolling. Uh... I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to sec two though. This is actually gonna be like a sixth or seventh place. This is so fucking sad. 
I think I was supposed to just roll a shit ton at eight earlier. Cause like I'm sitting on Gragas one, everything one. I can't even do anything about it. I, I think the the main like I, I probably was supposed to hit this TF and then keep rolling another 30 gold just to hit a front line. But like I had a Mordekaiser too. Oh. You'd have to roll like 30 or 40 gold to get a front line that's slightly better than what your current front line is. I, I'd, I'd almost always rather go 9 and try to hit 1 star legendaries, because like, I'm never beating a Riven 3 here. I think you just actually just go to 1 life, fuck it. If I go 8th here, it's fine. We gamble, because... Yeah, the only other answer was to have just like rolled down really early and save HP to a 4th. Which is a fair move if, if I chose to do that. Now I'm doing 1st or 8th, which is go 9, and then either hit or die. Make a list of units that make me stronger here. Okay, Blitzcrank for 1. That's huge. Not hitting a Blitzcrank was like the saddest thing about this game. Yeah, I'm playing a Cassante 2 on stage 5. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, yeah, so... Blitzcrank makes me stronger. Zac 2, Thresh 2. Uh, Alawi, Ziggs, Sona. York doesn't really do much. Kiana does a little bit. York does something if 2 starred. Set 2 does something. And then hit Echo 2 as well. Alright, well, I'm going down to 1 life. I'll have a good amount of money, and then if I don't hit, I just die. My TF items aren't the greatest. Honestly, the salvage rune isn't as good as I thought. But I mean, none of my other arguments were that playable. Alright, one life. Let's do this. <sighs> Top four is like right there. Oh, Sona with a Jazz Spat? I feel like I'm down. Oh wait. Oh fuck. There's a red buff. Oh my god, there's a red buff, but Sona with a jazz sped is huge. I don't even have to play jazz, I could just make a D-claw. But if I had a bard. If I had a bard, it's pretty good. Oh fuck, my last items don't make any sense. I also need to rebuild the Ziggs. Okay. Whew. Uh, okay, re come on, Albert, you can do this. Think, 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 think. I like didn't start up my items in time. Uh, honestly, if I can rebuild this Allowee, it'd be good. Then I can get a Sunfire. Oh, I know I can't. Bard. Honestly, Bard over Nami. And then Jazz Spet. I need to rebuild the Ziggs. I guess belt for good luck. Okay. His Riven's on the wrong side. Oh, I have too many cloaks though. It doesn't do anything against this Riven. Let's see what happens. If I win, it's top four. It's probably not good enough. Can Riven... Uh, no, my TF didn't cast. No. Okay, fifth place is not bad. But it's so fucking close. 
It's so close. If my TF finishes cast... Eh, I don't know if it one-shots. But it, like a full concentrated cast with Jeweled Lotus. A bunch of Disco Scaling. Fuck. It's fine. I would say this game was mostly kind of doomed because of how contested the Ari was. I had a good Ari angle, contested by like literally four players. Pivoted into TF, it wasn't bad. Went nine, did a first Wraith coin flip. Kind of hit, went fifth. It's not too bad. I honestly think the best I was going to place this game. Okay, actually, I think I could have gotten first. If I if I killed this guy, I think I could have gotten first. So I'm actually kind of sad. This this is the only matchup I lose from a quick scout. If I have like perfect item TF, I think I could win this. Or if I can live to the stage six carousel, I can get another spat and make a fun. The jazz play was kind of sick, but it's not good enough to beat a best in slot ribbon with two eight bit spats. Fuck. It was so close. Okay, I mean, fifth is honestly still fine. I'm still in contention for um, making it to day two. Uh, this actually puts me at like exactly average, I believe, because uh, I went two, three, eight, and five, which puts me at an average placement of 4.5, which is literally in the middle. So as long as I go like four and four, I think I move on. Oh wow, this guy's dead. Oh, what the fuck? He died from 17. Ah, Ari Lottery, man. The two winners of the Ari Lottery are just chilling. Wait, this guy has 8 Sentinel. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that's how he took 17. What the hell? All right, I can open my Twitch chat now. Yeah, eight Sentinels Ascension. Hello, guys. I can read the chat now. Sad fifth place. I I played the Ari Lottery along with four other players, and two people hit, three people lost. I am the I'm the highest placing of the the losers of the Ari Lottery, but it doesn't change the fact that I lost the Ari Lottery. I even rolled early to get, like have a chance. I got the TF that w and it wasn't too bad. Not good enough for a top four though. Oh yeah, honestly, I should have rolled on um, creep round because it's so contested. Wait, what? Did Ari Sentinels just lose? What did he lose to? Oh, he lost the Ari Sentinels, but better. Oh. <laughs> Ari Sentinels lost to Ari Sentinels. Although, this Ari Sentinel player went 9. So now he probably wins. Holy shit. 8 Sentinels. Every single Sentinel has plus 250 resist. That's actually insane.
This is kind of exciting. The entire fate of my tournament career lies in the next two games. I'm right in the middle with a 4.5 average placement and two games left. All I have to do is average 4.5. Actually, I think you have to get a little bit better than 4.5. I think I have to average a four. Maybe don't play Disco for one of them. Are you stupid? Did it look like I want to play Disco this game? I played Disco because five players contested the same build and the unit I wanted didn't exist in the pool. Do you, does it look like I queued into this game trying to play Disco? I had an incredibly strong Ari Sentinel build. I got contested by literally four players. Five players out of eight were playing the exact same build and everybody rolled at the same time and I didn't hit. I then salvaged a fifth place, which I think is incredible. All right. Actually, I'm pretty sure 4.5 average placement moves on. So if I go eight and one, I can still move on. Yeah, I'm at 14 points now. Wait, no, I, I'm at more than 14 points. I'm at 18 points now. I guess it just hasn't updated yet. Hello, MacDad. Thanks for the 46 months. Box box, maybe you can go disco on four three. Dude, I, I take time out of my mental capacity to commentate my game to you guys while I'm playing a tournament, and you still don't listen. I rolled on four one because I would like to win the Ari lottery, and then if I don't win, I can at least play Twisted Fate. I I played the Ari lottery, I didn't win, and then I played the Twisted Fate. It's totally fine. I I I put a lot of effort into making my thought process very clear, even while I'm playing a tournament. If you're not going to listen, then please stop backseating. I think every choice we made there was correct. We just didn't hit and we got fifth and that's fine. Going fifth on a game where you miss your rolldown is totally reasonable. In fact, most people who miss their rolldown would go seventh or eighth. All right, I'll play the ad break while we wait for the next lobby. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, we have to wait 15 minutes. Boxbox, Box, what do you think is the adjustment in the meta to counter the tournament favoring Ari so much? Uh, get a true damage spat every single game. That's the only counter. There is no real counter to Ari because true damage without a spat is not strong. The reason why Ari, everybody plays Ari is because Ari has no counter. Well, her only counter is a spatula into a, like, a true damage Ezreal or Caitlyn. And like that's not guaranteed.
Why are true damage Ezreal and Caitlyn good? Because if you put a spatula that makes you do... If there was an item that made you do 30% true damage, it would be the best item in the game. And true damage is... True damage spat is a item that makes your character do like 30 to 50% true damage. It also counters the best build in the game, Sentinels. The meta is so rigid right now that like people just like build build sentinels hoping to either then hit true damage spat or at least hope no one else hits it because if no one else hits it then sentinels are incredibly strong. But yeah, the answer as to why is true damage spat so good is very simply Caitlyn and Ezreal are already good. You can you can already play a best in slot Caitlyn or a best in slot Ezreal. It's already good and then you just put an item that is incredibly overpowered. If for, if, for example, Infinity Edge were randomly bugged to be twice as strong, then it'd be like basically the same thing. Imagine if Infinity Edge was just twice as strong as it currently is now, and every single player in the game was just going for Sword Glove every carousel, and the game was determined by if you hit that or not. Hopefully, there will not be any spatulas in my games, because... Uh, I plan on playing win streak every single game because I think win streak is good for a safe fourth or third place. The only re the only time I play lose streak is if like I really had to, uh, and I have to like go first or eighth. Open fort has the highest chance of eighth place and the highest chance of first place, and I am down to just win streak into a third twice in a row. That's why in my 8th place game, I was really upset about my augments, because my augments forced me to play 1st or 8th. And then, as you saw, I went 8th. And, like, if I had just taken something standard, and even if I low-rolled it and went 6th, I'd still be, like, very alive in this tournament right now. Or, more, more than alive, like, almost, like, un unlosable. If I had gotten, like, a decent safe augment, I could have just done that. But, I did not get a safe augment, so I had to go risky. And I lost. I think low rolling and prismatic augments feel so bad. I almost wish they would just disable um, triple prismatics for tournaments. I don't think they ever would because like it's technically part of the game. But holy shit, triple prismatics is like the biggest casino I've ever seen. And today I'm the loser of that casino. If that game just like was standard and I could go like sixth, I'm like almost guaranteed moving on to day two. Right now it's a very 50-50 situation, which is fine. I'll just play like a beast. My only regret is not getting first place in that first game. In that first game, I definitely, if I just like didn't play for content, I could have just like won without a TF3. I literally could have just like gone 10 and won the game. But instead, I was like, yo, I've got 60 gold, I'm uncontested, I've got a duplicator, and I don't even have a headliner yet. Surely I hit Thresh or TF. Like, I, I didn't calculate it, but I'm pretty sure if you were to plug it into a calculator, the odds of hitting a 3-star 4 cost, not necessarily TF, but just a 3-star 4 cost there, because I had, uh, I had 5 Threshes, 5 TFs, and then I had headliner available. The odds of hitting was probably like over 90% when you factor in headliner rules and how uh, there's bad luck protection. It was probably over fifty, uh, over ninety percent. So like, I was like ninety percent chance to like end the game on a pog. I was here pog first. I waited until I secured second place at least, and then I went for it, and then I didn't hit. I lost the ninety percent roll down. Your odds are like sixty percent. No, that's completely wrong. Like I didn't do the math yet, but sixty. It's way higher. You have to remember that once you see a headliner, you can't see that headliner or similar headliners for five rolls. So like. If I have to see a TF headliner or a Thresh headliner to win the game, you understand why that's so likely, right? Because once you see a 4-cost headliner, is it Thresh or TF? If yes, win the game. You just dupe it, and then you win. If you see a 4-cost that isn't, like you see Zac, then you skip it, and you can no longer see Zac for 5 rolls. Then you see like an Akali, and you can't see Akali for 5 rolls. Then you see... Uh, an Ari, and you can't see Ari for five rolls. And then, like, the other guy has, like, uh, six Blitzcrank, so you can't see Blitzcrank. Your, your odds are of hitting are incredibly high. 
It's, it's way higher than like normal because of headliner rules. So like I was down to throw for content because my odds of get winning it all and having like the three star forecast were so high. I just missed and I threw away one point. And now that like I went eighth because I lost the prismatic lottery, now I'm really sad. That one point could literally be the difference. But honestly, if it is, that's fine. I've been really sick and tired of this patch and I am ready to play Valorant for a week. I'm going to just fight my heart out, play my best, and then if I make it, cool. If I don't make it, I will end my stream and practice Valorant. I really want to hit Immortal. And then I'll be back to TFT on the next patch. Can we watch you play Valorant? No. I'm not good enough to stream it. If I hit Immortal, I'll stream it. I'm still Ascendant. I've seen a lot of streamers upset with this patch. Yes, and rightfully so. This patch is not good. And every time I say that, I feel the need to clarify. This patch is not good, asterisk. What I mean by that is, like, I say this all the time, so if you've heard me say this 20 times already, I'm sorry. Uh, what I mean by that, oh, shit. What I mean by that is, uh, any patch, if left alone for six weeks, is going to be like this. The patch was actually pretty good in the first two weeks, and then it got solved, and then it was not fun. And TFT is, like, a really unfun game when the game is solved, because every single good build is, like, discovered, so now it's just, like, uh, who can hit? Right, like maybe at like the lower skill levels, there's still like people fail at piloting, but for the most part, like nobody's making major mistakes in Challenger Elo. Right, nobody's gonna like have a blue buff and a Nashers and then skip a, an Ari because they didn't realize that Ari was good. Everybody knows Ari is good. Nobody's gonna get BT Titans QSS and then be like, oh well, I don't know what to play. Whereas earlier in the patch, that might, have, might, that might have happened because people don't know what's good yet. And that's like the more fun part of the patch when there's still a lot of element of discovery and there's like a lot of interesting options that could exist. But now you kind of like already know what it is. And yes, I've seen people make mistakes. I've also make mistakes. Uh, I watched Soju throw a game on stream earlier where he had a Kane headliner in shop and didn't buy it. And then he instead played his Gwinsu's TG Zack headliner and lost, like barely. And then he, went, he was like, this is a fifth? I don't even think he realized there was a Kane Headliner in his shop. But he was playing like a synergy list Zach. Right? If Soju is 1400 LP and he makes those kinds of mistakes, like, I'm sure people blunder all the time. But uh, in the end, most high elo games just come down to like who hits. I would believe it if like you told me a rank, like a 2000 LP player can like out edge a 1000 LP player in like maybe 5 or 10% of games. Whereas in a less solved patch, a 2,000 LP player would out-edge a 1,000 LP player by like like 80 or 90% of games. Right? When, when the game is like harder and there are many decision points that are not easy to solve, that's when the game is most skill-based. That's when like a skilled player can really show how skilled they are by correctly solving all these, this, 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 by correctly solving all these decisions. But right now, like, everything's too solved. So any patch will feel this way after a given amount of time. That's why, like, a lot of streamers are upset with this patch, and rightfully so. I don't think Riot's done anything wrong. Like, I understand Riot needs a vacation. This is just always going to be that, that one patch or that one month that fucking sucks for TFT. Hey, Box Box. Love your content and appreciate you. Was wondering about your thoughts on the headliner optimization when it comes to Ari with super fans and if you think it's correct. What? Wondering about your thoughts on the headliner optimization when it comes to Ari with super fan? You mean Ari with sentinels? I don't know what you mean by uh, Ari with super fans. I don't think you ever play Ari with super fans in the current patch. When's the next game? Uh. Probably about 10 minutes. 
they said we're waiting on some lobbies to finish, so I'm just playing my uh, mindless game while I wait. Oh, wait. Okay, I think we're starting. Uh, okay. Olivia runs in. They said they're starting to make the lobbies now, so I'll look for the invite. This is a pretty good run. This might be like a sub four minute run. Never mind. No! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! Step bro, I'm stuck! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Is that a soft lock? I, I think you can technically get out of it, but it's really hard. All right, uh, have they updated the standings yet? I should be at 18 points. Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm like 10 way tied for right in the middle. Okay, to be safe, to, to safely qualify, I need to get like a fourth and a fourth or like a first and a seventh. You know, second or sixth. I uh, to tie break to move on. I need to go first and eighth, second or seventh, third and sixth, and so on. Either average placement four point five to tie break or uh, average placement four to guaranteed move on. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna do what I normally do, and then either I hit and I win, or I don't hit and I lose. That's what this current patch is. I'll just like try to. If I don't hit, I'll try to salvage a sixth, and if I do hit, I'll try to get a first. Yeah, I think it's like literally split down the middle right now. Yeah, 64 is exactly half the player base, and it's right at 18. I think if I tie, there's a good chance I don't move on. Oh man, that's a little intimidating. That means that one point from uh, the TF3 throw is uh, actually going to matter. Right, it's fine, I'll just go first this lobby. Okay, I'll play the ad break while I wait for the next lobby. I'll see you guys in a bit.
Oh, it's me. Love me some component anvils. It really counters open forters because he gets to just play strong early board. All right, hopefully I don't have to open fort here. Just give me like a solid game. A, a, a headliner and a front line, that makes sense. Okay, I like six golden remover, that's high roll. I'll play Sentinels, I'll play Disco, I'll play Ari. I might even play Jax if I get the setup for it. I'm a little scared of playing Jax, actually. <sighs> Not too much a fan of Annie Rural, but I did play it in one of my warm-up games earlier. If I get if I natural six Annies, I think I'm down. Or if I hit three Annies and then headliner, I think I'm down. Titans. Oh fuck. I don't have much practice on melee builds. I'd be really scared if it came down to melee. Hopefully it doesn't. Uh, oh, unlucky. Wrong one. It could just be a standard game, honestly. Need a Garen, Kaisa, standard AD game. Yeah, okay. It's, it's definitely not a disco game. S request. How many weak players this lobby? I think the lobby's kind of weak. I think S request is good. I want to take it. Uh, can't actually play this. I'm not happy about this Gwinsu's, but I low rolled my items. The Gwinsu's is good for this Jinx specifically, and then it kind of falls off. It, it once again becomes useful once you hit a Sona, but I like, it was like Hurricane Jinx. I wasn't too happy about that. I actually think Gwinsu's is pretty strong here because I'm mostly frontline. Okay, please win this. I really need to get like a f Oh no. Oh, this guy's actually very strong. Oh. It's actually not the end of the world if I lose this. I think I'm gonna lose. It's like a free win if I can five streak, but this guy is a little strong.
No. This guy's actually strong. Okay. I'm actually still in a playable spot. What I have to do is just three streak. I have to three streak and print all three. And then I would say that's actually still above average. Escrow quest is not balanced around streaking the entire stage. It, it's what could happen if you hit a strong frontline backline combo. But it is not what's happening here. But like, a lot of these people are weak. I want to say I can print uh, on most of these people. I need a two star frontliner though. Yeah, as long as I print here, I can make 10. I'm so sad that I had to slam a Gwinsu's. I'm so sad about this. It's only good if I hit Sona. Okay, actually, it can be played on TF, but this doesn't look like a disco game. This mostly looks like an RE game. Or like a do whatever until level 9. Oh, if I won that earlier fight, I could go 6 here, but... I mean, that guy was just strong. I don't think I was ever beating him. It's probably good that I faced him early. Because if he ended my 5 streak, I would have been really sad. But at least maybe I can start a 3 streak here. Uh, I'm probably grabbing this Garen. Okay, we're definitely playing AD then. Which is fine. Dang it. Nope, no two star. Next round I'll see a headliner. Hopefully it's a two cost. I'm gonna try to not slam the even shroud unless I have to. Oh fuck. Some of these matchups actually look kinda tough. Oh. Uh, this guy's what doesn't kill you, but he leveled. Wait, why is he trying to win? He's got a loose streak augment. Uh oh. Oh no, I think I barely lose this. Oh god, no. I low rolled, didn't hit a front line, and then I faced the guy who is playing win streak, what doesn't kill you. Uh oh, this is actually really bad. Okay, actually, uh, actually, this is kind of good. Okay, so what are the downsides to what's going on right now? The downside is I took too long to spike, so I don't have a streak. The upside is my board's actually quite good now. I want to say I win this. Although, I, I only have a Corky. Oh, maybe I don't win this. Oh my god, I win, but he sniped my dummy. Oh no. Oh, that's so sad. Are you kidding me? Sante once sniped my dummy. Okay, I mean, I'll just play Gwinces as like a wasted item on somebody. It'll be like a half item on Caitlyn. Oh, this is really sad. I only printed, what, two times? I mean, level 520 gold's not the worst. But like, a Winster could be like level 540 here. And like, kind of printing would be level 530. It's still playable. Don't give up yet, Albert. Still a very playable game. Kind of want this Aphelios, but I'm not sure how I'm going to play it. Oh, blue buff. Wait, I could actually play Sentinel Ari and then just say fuck the even shroud. The 
I, I think you're always slamming blue left. Okay, please give me weak opponents. I am begging you. Please give me weak opponents. Oh my god, I need to print so badly here. Oh my god, but I'm on one star quirky. It's so sad. Escort quest until like don't hit. Okay, this guy didn't pivot to his Twitch yet. Surely I don't lose to Twin Terror's Annie. I have a really good spot for Ezreal and then like a random Gwyn's on Caitlyn. I could also play Ari and then just say fuck the even shroud. Ari is so strong that you can play one item down and it'll work. I think I lost. Oh my god. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Oh my fucking god! I actually just lose the game! What? Literally one HP! Oh my god! Literally! Oh, I lose my my I I I just lost like six gold for that. Oh, I I, I actually think I just lose the game now. I I needed to print there. Now I can't make twenty. I fuck. Literally one. Literally one. And my, my target time was the last unit alive, too. That was something I could have done, too. I was, I, that was the best positioning possible. Oh. Pretty sure I'll just lose the game now. I'm too far behind. I'm out of the tournament. I'm not saying that this one loss kicks me out of the tournament. I'm saying that, in general, this this match was pretty unlucky and that was the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm too far behind now. Please, by some miracle. Please win and print. Ah! You've gotta be fucking kidding me, dude! Every single time, my dummy just barely gets killed. Oh my god, and I went- I literally went lose win, lose win, lose win, lose win, lose win, lose I'm gonna have a fucking meltdown, dude. I'm actually gonna have a meltdown. And I also cannot hit a front- or a, a backliner. I'm playing a quirky one. And I, I- I'm not- I'm not weak enough to lose streak and get like something great on carousel. I'm too poor, and I can't print. I actually just lose the game. I took the risk. Goodbye tournament. Entire tournament career done. Because of this game. Oh, fuck. It's fine. Just give up and move on to the next patch. I just lost like 12 gold because of like insanely close mishaps. Starting from like that first round where uh, the Cassante sniped my, the one star Cassante sniped my target dummy. Yay, I printed. I need a massive bailout here. Like, somehow, I need that Caitlyn with sword. But I don't think I'm ever getting that. If I can't get the Caitlyn with sword, it's probably glove. Wait, oh my god. Please don't take this away from me. Wait, what? Wait, why did no one want that? Everybody's playing Ari. Everybody, everybody has blue buff slams, so they don't actually want it. Alright, I'm just gonna slam. I'm pretty sure I'm just slamming a death blade and it's like decent. I think I'm gonna go for the uh I'm gonna go for the gamble. Level and then slam this and then try to print. Yeah. If I lose here, I'm just gonna like forfeit. Or I can't literally forfeit, but I'll just lose. I'm gambling. I'm trying to make my way back into the game by four streaking with on this on the back of this Caitlyn and then printing every single round. Then I could actually like be back on par with everybody and then still play for the for the roll down.
Thank God I faced some weak players. Sorry, Mordekaiser, come back later. This guy is hard forcing Ezreal. You can have your Ezreal, just let me get Caitlyn. Sentinels, rapid fire, 8 bit. I'm down. Anything I can do positioning wise to maximize the odds of printing? I'll probably put the dummy like kind of far away here. All right, if I print here, I want to say the game is like kind of playable. This guy's also forcing Ari. And then I'll probably do a, a component spread with my Sentinels. I realize now, like, my Sentinels have nothing. I need to move items over. I, need, I probably just, like, don't slam an item. I just slam a bunch of components. Okay, so here's what needs to happen for me to, like, still be alive here. So first, I need to win this next round by facing somebody who either doesn't roll down or didn't hit on the roll down. My board's like pretty decent. Second, I need to then go eight, sell the Scarin, and then find a good headliner quickly. It doesn't have to be Caitlyn, it doesn't have to be Ezreal. It, it could be a lot of things. Just like a four cost that holds items decently well. Okay, uh, I actually have blue buff Nashers, but I'm definitely gonna do a cyber spread here. So, it's really good on Sentinels, so you can have this belt, and then, yeah. And then next round, I will level. I pray that I don't face somebody who rolled down. Okay, luckily I, I can't face this guy. He hit Ezreal. This guy didn't hit. Oh, put me against him, he's dizzy. Oh, it actually did put me against him. Oh wait, but he has a one-star Ezreal. I don't think I'll lose to a one-star Ezreal, but... Oh fuck. That is a Radiant... Oh, that is like an Ultra Best in slot. Do I... Do I win? I think I win. Oh! Oh my god, the dummy is saved. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, anything that gives items is actually pretty high roll here. Because it's more cybernetic bulk. Return on investment, no. Support cash, maybe. Uh, I don't think it's stationary support here. Oh, I actually like Drilled Lotus though. All right, come on, give me something playable. Uh, honestly, yes, I think that's playable, I think it's playable. Okay, so the question is, can I go 9 off this? I'm playing 3 Sentinels. It feels a little bad to sell that Cassante, but... I think if I'm going to try to go 9 off this... This is what I gotta do. It, it's not horrible, honestly. I do have HP. I think I'll beat anyone who doesn't hit, like this guy. Oh my god, am I Barak? I might be Barak. This random, almost naked Ari, and this random Caitlyn 1 with like, a one star synergy. Uh, I feel like this Alawi should be played. I wonder if this is better. I'm pretty sure Ari is better. I don't think this Alawi is currently better in my spot. I don't. I don't think it's better right now. 
This Quince is actually like not bad on this Caitlyn. I'm thinking about how I can play this Alawi, but I don't think you can in this build. Like this Thresh actually fits very well. It's for Guardian and then uh, Cyber Bulk at least works. It's not as good as Sentinel Blitzcrank, but it's it's good enough. Oh no, my dummy. That's fine. I, I'd be even just happy to win the round at this point. Oh my god, I won the round. I'm actually alive. This guy didn't hit, not yet. A lot of people still have money. Oh, I think a lot of people are trying to go nine. Uh, what do I want here? Belt might be okay. Uh, bow was also okay. I think it's just Rod Lilia for more cyber value. It could be a Gwyn Suze, uh, probably not. I like this Kiana and Echo. But, oh my god, I don't like that. How do you even play this, right? Like, it, it actually, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it's a bait. Oh, let me think about it. Okay, so it's you don't even have Spellweaver in, so like Echo is only being played for true damage. It, it would require like a whole board re, right? I, I'm pretty sure it's bait. I don't even think I hold it because I think I just sell this Amumu and Econ up. Sorry, Kiana and Echo. Normally, it's such a high roll shop. Pretty sure it's a bait. I'm, I'm getting very lucky. I'm facing weak players. Oh my god. I'm actually back. This game was so fucked. Okay. I would love to face one more weak player. But I'm not going to be too picky. I just realized a cannon would be really good here. Cannon over a Mumu. Okay. One more weak person and I'm actually almost guaranteed top four. Which is an insane comeback. And then I go nine. I'll just play whatever. As players die off, I'll figure it out. Is there any positioning gimmicks? Not really. Yeah, not really. This looks good enough. I like, really don't expect to win. Okay, I'm facing another guy who didn't hit. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm back. The unluckiest early game into the luckiest mid game. I, ke I, I keep on facing people who didn't roll. I'm a dirty, naughty little high roller. Okay, I'm probably not gonna play Sentinels because I'm gonna try to pivot to like, think about what the end game looks like. It looks like like Blitzcrank, Thresh, Yorick, Alawi, Set. And then the back line's just like whatever you get. Honestly, I'm down to like drop this Ari for Jin. I think that's like the magic unit here. Then it wraps back around to my uh, even shroud. Infinity Edge, that's awesome. Uh, I think I sack three, go nine. I think that's the right play. It's probably a tier here. And I'll just throw it on Kiana, or a uh, true damage unit. I know, maybe it's a sword. Because it can make a gunblade later for Jin. Okay, I expect to lose here. Sack three, go nine, and then I have a. The reason I'm not going nine now is because I don't have anything good to put in, and then there's a lot to roll for. There's a lot to roll for later. I've got the HP to sack here. Just kill a few, I'll be happy. Or none. I 
Okay, so start to think about what goes in, what goes out. Um, I want to say you just sell this Thresh because any five cost headliner is like an instant take. And then you'll probably find something close to, or if not better than Thresh. So you're, you're going to sell like Lilia, Nico, Amumu, and Amumu, and then probably the Senna. Oh, Ghost Ward, nice. And then you're just gonna like play set, you're gonna play Alawi, Thresh, all these units that I've highlighted. Oh, probably not the cannon. I was just looking for him for temporary super fan. That's not actually that important. It's amazing that I got here on one stars, by the way. I don't know how that was possible. Okay, I'm gonna go down to like 35 health, which is still like two or three lives. And most legendaries and four costs are playable here. Yeah, sure, I'll play it for one round. Okay, I'll have like 30 or 40 gold level nine. If I hit any five cost headliner, it's 2% chance. It's really strong. I'm just gonna put the dummy in the front leg. I'm never printing. Just try to get some, uh, just try to position it as if it were a target dummy. Caitlyn 2 would be huge. It could be Lucian. Um, oh, let me mark that. Lucian MF Bard. Very. That's like a very firstable endgame comp. If I can hit it. I actually have a chance to play for first two, which is crazy. Oh, they're all so low. Fuck, I could have killed three units if I just like got a slightly better fight RNG. Okay, for items, I would take that Caitlyn just to have a Caitlyn. Maybe even the 8-bit spat. It's a bit greedy. Uh, I would take a Caitlyn for frontline. Okay, probably Giant Slayer. Probably Giant Slayer. It might have been Deathblade, but I don't have the Jin yet. I'll take a safe item. Maybe it was Valus, two more gold. No. Ah. Uh, shit, I, I take this for now. I have to play this for now. Oh, I couldn't actually make my board that much stronger. I actually like didn't really hit any legendaries. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I mean top five guaranteed. <sighs> I think I'm supposed to sack this round. It feels fucking bad, but I think you're basically locked in top four. And rolling here is not going to make me much stronger. Maybe I'll roll down to 10 and see if I hit something really crazy. It is the end. Uh, okay, I should just roll then. I, I have to hit Jin. Okay, some HP save. That's actually a pretty good fight for me. Top four, guaranteed. Okay, the question is, am I gonna sell my headliner for this? I, I'm, I'm going in, by the way. I think I keep this Caitlyn, she's pretty solid. And then I just like try to fix the rest of this. I 
I, I think I keep everything. I don't think I sell Caitlyn. I, I should focus on... I can replace Garen. Yeah, I really need Jin. I should actually probably start rolling a little bit right now. It's not bad. Uh, is it good enough though? I got a pretty good cyber spread. One more Caitlyn ult. Oh no! Oh, I think I lose. Wait, wait. Ah, the Caitlyn died middle. Fuck, the Caitlyn died middle. Oh my God. Exact lethal too. The Caitlyn died to a tentacle that spawned on my side of the board. She like was about to ult and just win. I don't know if I win out, but like I had a pretty good board at the end. I should hit two star Jin. Oh. God damn it. I actually made the pivot to the jazz board. I pulled it off, man. Just to lose to that. Lose like a micro positioning better and I was fine. I did all I could in that one turn. Holy shit, that was an intense turn. I had two Alawis, so there might have been something better I could have played, but I didn't have time to figure it out. Oh my god. Exact lethal too. Yeah, I don't know if I was going to do better. Like, I might have just, for all we know, I might have just died the next turn. Because it's Jax 3, it's Twin Terror's Twitch. But like, I'm sad I didn't even get a chance. I think if I hit Jin 2, I could actually uh, top 3 or top 2 here. Exact lethal, man. I mean, all I have to do is get top 4 to move on to day 2. Guaranteed. And then top 5 is like, maybe. There's a little bit of tiebreaker. It all comes down to this game. I think I should just be happy with this 4th, honestly. That game, if you saw that stage 2 and 3, like, that game was so over. I think average placement from that spot is probably like a 7. Isn't, so isn't fourth a good solid for the campaign of Survive to Week 2? I mean, yeah, but I'm just sad because I think it could have been a third. Like, this guy has a very similar board to me, but instead of uh, Azrael, I have Caitlyn. I feel like I could actually beat this guy. If I have two-star Jin or two-star Alawi, I think I actually beat this guy. Because he's playing, he's playing down um, a Prismatic Augment. So, like, even though he's level 10... He's like, it's it's pretty comparable power level to like a decent level nine board. And then I also think I can beat this guy. Wait, is, is that the one I lost to? No, I I lost to I lost to this guy because I didn't finish my positioning. Oh fuck. Really quick.
All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys at the start of the final game. Top four, it's as close as it gets. Top four moves on. Fifth to eighth probably does not move on. Fifth might move on if I'm lucky. But sixth and lower is guaranteed out. My entire pro career is banking on top fouring this final game, which is really scary because that literally is just like a, can you high roll one game or just hit on your roll down and salvage a fourth? I'm probably gonna play very aggressively and just like save HP. But like, I've, I've had games where you like win streak early and then go six still, if the lobby gets really close. Okay, they haven't updated the last couple games yet. <sighs> Why not take the RA headliner? You had best in slot items. Because there is much better I can hit. RA headliner without sentinels is not very good. RE and like a standard board is not that great. RE with sentinels is really OP. Hello, Exudia. Box, box I'm new to watching. Why does this one tournament affect your entire pro career? Because uh, if you don't do well in this tournament, then you can't go to regionals. And if you can't go to regionals, you can't go to worlds. So there is not that much pro stuff available for TFT. So if you fail here, you, you, you already don't get to do anything. Well, if you fail here, you can attempt to qualify by being rank one on the ladder. Hello, Lord Kira. Thanks for the two months. Six players get to go to regionals off of rankings alone. So if you are rank one to six, you can go to re regionals without winning a tournament. Thank you, Zuch. What were my placements so far? Second, third, fifth, eighth, fourth. Yeah, it's like super average. Super average, just get fourth or better. All right, closing the chat. Final game, welcome back from the ad break. It's very simple, top four moves on, bot four does not move on. I mean, again, fifth might move on, if I'm lucky with tiebreakers, but I don't think I, I don't have a first place, so I, I think I lose the tiebreakers. Uh, honestly, win-win. If I top four, Pog, I lose here Pog. If I bot four, I go, I go pivot to Valorant until the next patch, because I've been super burned out of TFT. As long as I feel like I played my best. My only regret is throwing that one game for TF3. All right, I'm just gonna play a really aggressive early game. And I'm going to just win streak into hopefully like bleed out to a fourth. If you're like really unlucky with matchmaking, a win streak could still go bot four. If players like keep trading blows at low HP. If they like keep on trading like one unit losses to each other and then crush you. It's happened to me before, but in general, if you five streak, your odds top four are very high. What's actually weird is if you win streak, your odds of top one are actually pretty low. Because uh, people who open for it and like hit the spats will easily destroy you, or just like hit best in slot. Meanwhile, you you will be subject to like item RNG. All right, please just give me like a clean disco game. 
God, I love playing Disco. It's so uncontested. Oh. Oh, I don't like playing Jax. It's strong, but I don't like playing it. Or right, not for a high stakes match. I hate playing Jax because there's like a good chance you just lose because you're contested, a good chance you lose because you don't hit, and then in, if you do hit and you're uncontested and you get good items and augments, then you win the game. But it's very first or eighth. I want to just play my solid disco build that I'm, I have a lot of confidence in. Oh fuck, I didn't even pick up any of those. It's okay. Um... I'm pretty sure this is an AD game, looking at my items. I'll still hold the Nami pair. I think I'm supposed to pick this up. I think I'm supposed to sell uh, Jackson play this. What doesn't kill you? Could be pretty decent here. A cut above is also good. I feel like this lobby is kind of strong. It might actually have to be an open fort game. I think it's actually an open fort game. My early game kind of sucks. Uh... Pretty sure it's open for Ari here. My items don't make much sense right now, but like it's it's pretty easy to play Ari if you're open for it and you're the one who hits. Also, normally you can only make 19 gold if you open fort, but thanks to the 3-cost champion, you get 2 extra gold, because instead of a 1-cost champion, you start with a 3-cost champion. So I get to actually make 21 gold here. Oh, actually, and I have uh, money from my augment. Yeah, this is probably just going to be like a uh, blue buff, Nasher's spark. I hate playing this on such a, such a high, like, impact game. Pretty sure I'm selling this. I need to see if, if anyone's like open open. If someone's open open, I need to like sell everything. Otherwise, I'll try to hold Sentinels. I mean, there's like a really easy game in terms of like, I know exactly how to play it. Whether or not I hit or not is up to Mort Dog. Okay, I didn't see anyone sell their whole board. Although I might have to sell this Echo anyway. No, I, I should have exactly 30 next round. It could also still be AD. Like, once I get the tier off Parasol, I have blue buff, even Shroud. Could still be an Ezreal game. This is so scary though, because like, what doesn't kill you is an augment that goes first or eighth. But it's also just in general a strong augment, and my other ones were not strong, so I think I had to take it here. But like, knowing that like a fourth is identical to a first in terms of how much it gives me, it, they both give me qualification to the next day. Uh, I'm so nervous. This Garen is pretty good, but I'm pretty sure he's just still open for it. I need to watch out for these guys. Oh, he sold some of his board, but not all. Well, he's gonna regret that. Calm down, Albert. You got this. Even if you don't hit, like, who cares? You can go play Valorant for a week. There's no need to be nervous. Just go play your Sentinel Ari. You've played it a million times on ladder. Look for tier. 
There's not tier than bow. Imagine if there was just like a spat and the game was like just that easy. All right, so I have blue buff even shroud. It can still be Ezreal. It could still be Ari. Just wait. See what the next round of items gives us. Either way, it's just like pick up pick up all the sentinels. This is really nice. I get to hold an echo. I'm surprised. I actually have not seen that much open forwarding. I think like people are really nervous and they don't want to play for um like risky first or eighth threats. I might get open forwarded on, but I'll just like aggressively scout. No one's open forwarding, really. I'm really surprised nobody's open forwarding. It's really good for me if I'm the only one, and then I can hold this. As ribbons are facing opposite directions. Tear. How should I proceed? I feel like this guy's gonna sell on me. And if he does, I have to match him. I sold on him. I wish I faced him. Because the reason why like I always win that is because he has a target dummy. So if, if he sells on me and I sell on him and we face each other, he will win, which is really good for me. And I also like, would take less damage. Okay, honestly, not bad. You're, you're very low on HP, but you can do it, Albert. Oh, Varg is actually a really good item holder for Ari. I think you're always just slamming this. Okay, I can probably stack one more and then try to win. I want a bow. A bow, sword, rod. Rod. Sword. Nice. I think you're always just slamming this. I, I'm like super first dibs on the Ari. If I miss my roll down, like not much you can do about it. It happens. I think you're always slamming. I'm trying to think like, is there a really good AD angle? Not really. Oops, sorry Nami. I realize I realized at the last second. Okay, I need to scout the lobby and try to figure out how many contesters I have. Because last time I played Ari in this tournament, I, there was literally four players contesting, and that's why I went fifth. Oh, one gold. Thanks. It's not keepers. It's probably Cyber Uplink, but I'm not a fan of Cyber Uplink for Ari. Uh, it's probably Partial Ascension. Fear not. I'm coming. My fans are the 
reason I sin. I can't tell what he's playing. He hasn't slammed anything yet. Jax. AD. This looks like... Wait, blue buff Shojin. What the heck? Uh, AD. AD. I'm actually, like, not that contested. I think there's one guy who's contesting me, and his items are really strange. Mm, my items are strange as well, though. What am, I, what am I doing with these? I think I'm slamming an adaptive helm. Partial Ascension's kind of unlucky here. It's, like, good later if I can get tanky. Oh god, I'm so nervous. This is exactly, like, a, a loose streak into a miss is exactly the kind of way I can get eliminated from this tournament. Wait, hold up. We getting paid for this. I'm pretty sure you're just slamming an adaptive. It's... Oh, it's, it's really not that good on Sentinels. Oh my god, I think I'm just holding. It feels really bad. Really unlucky items. Alright, let's go 7 next round. At least I'm first pick again. Okay, this guy's definitely playing Ari. Oh fuck, I just realized he's first pick. He could take my Ari. Oh wait, is he playing TF? He has Nami Gragas. We, we're actually like in the same spot. We both have... We're both flexing between Ari and TF. Although I'm like a little bit more rigid because I, um, I slammed the blue buff. This guy could actually hit TF and pivot. Hopefully he does. I'm not really in a spot where I can play Disco, I'm just holding it because I like Disco. Alright, I need to go 7 and roll a little bit, which is, it feels really bad, but I'm pretty weak right now. Oh, good loss. Wait, Ari on- Oh my god, Ari on Carousel with the Nashers. Holy shit! Okay. Okay, okay. Go seven. Roll a little bit. Hit a sentinel headliner. GG. Any tank headliner, honestly. I'm not going to be too picky. I have a lot of shit on my board. I got to... I got to sort through this. Don't accidentally sell the Ari. I want to say this is good enough. Blue buff. Okay, I sorted through my bench. I really don't want to roll that much because, like, if, if I lose this next round, I still get I get a component. If, if anything, the next round's the, the round to lose, and it's like totally fine. So I don't want to roll that deep. Annie, could you hand me a water bottle? Actually, I'll, I'll just grab myself. I I don't need to do focus right now. Whenever I'm nervous, I drink through water like a madman. <sighs> okay. Okay, uh, where's my contesters at? Oh, fuck, this guy also hit an Ari. Oh god. If either- if anyone hits an Ari headliner, it locks- Honestly, I think this is a time for me to pull a Soju. What Soju does is he rolls on the creep round. Yeah, he rolls on the creep round. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely not that rich, though. But, like, just to, like, be first to roll. Ah, oh, three-way contested. 
I mean, I don't have to hit Ari, right? I can hit Sentinel and play one star Ari. One star Ari is actually good enough here. Akali, Kitty Akali is also good. Or even just regular Akali, honestly. I've got items for her. Oh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna roll a little bit. Okay. All right, Albert. You're basically paying a little bit of gold. You're paying like three gold worth of econ to get to see the shop a uh, couple shops earlier than everyone else. I didn't hit, but uh, maybe I can still hit. Maybe I can still hit. It's not over yet. Come on, Albert. See the Ari headliner. Okay, you're actually seeing a lot of good things. Heart steel. Is that playable? I don't think it is. Fuck. Fuck, I didn't hit. Well, I, I kind of hit. I, I b Besides headliner, I got everything. Okay, this guy did hit. Okay, honestly, Albert, if you can hit a KDA headliner, it's actually really good. Or Sentinel. Just Your board's actually good. Just uh, find something. I think I, I like Epitaph here. Pretty good with a Kali. Uh, I think this is honestly decent enough. Okay. Is this good enough to go nine? Uh, it's not a bad board. It's not a bad board. I didn't win the lottery, but it's, it's playable. This is like the... Um, Ari Sentinel's like dumb little brother. Ari KDA. But like I hit a two star Kali, I'm not passing up on that. I have a lot of board value. Okay, this Mordekaiser is extra. So I can play something else. I think my colleague cleans this up. I think 7 KDA could have actually been pretty, pretty decent here. Maybe a super fan. Uh, I should actually probably keep rolling. There's like... I've got a streak at stake. Man, I just I just sold that. I guess I was supposed to sell. Ah, fuck. If I can natural, I, I'm probably just donkey rolling every single round, playing for a top four. Uh, or I sack two and then re-roll, try to get a better headliner. Lulu is actually not that great. Yeah, all things considered, Lulu's not that great. Okay, I, with this loss I get a component, but it sucks I don't have a streak. Oh fuck, if only I lost one more HP, got earlier pick. I would literally just take the Ari on Carousel just to have Ari 2 It's actually really good in my spot. Okay, there's no Ari players here. Um, I could take that, oh. 
Let me just let me just have this Ari. No. Fuck. Oh no. He's the exact same boat as me. He's literally taking the RH7 Ari. Oh god, there's so many out of the pool now. I feel like I gotta keep rolling. No. KDA Nico. No. We are not one soul. We are many. <laughs> I need this Akali to do damage. She's my best unit right now. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I'm going bot 4 here. Without RE2. It's actually like pretty close. Oh, I mean, I'm never winning the fight, but I'll take the one unit loss. Think, Albert, think. How do you salvage this situation? Alright, I think you're always donkey rolling this round. Try to find one of the last RE's. Actually, no, no, Poppy 2 is pretty playable here. It, it sucks, but sack 1. Oh, if she if she finishes that ult, no. I don't think you can play this. Oh my god, I'm gonna get eliminated because I lost the Ari lottery. It's so sad. This guy still didn't hit, but he's probably going nine. Come on, Albert, you can do it. What are your options? I mean, it's basically just to upgrades from this spot. It's too late to hit Sentinels. Try, try to get a 3 out of Makali. Uh, goodbye world. It's not a horrible board that I have here, but it's not good enough. Oh my god, it almost was! It almost was! Oh! I almost won this fight. Holy shit. Alright, well. I had fun playing this tournament. I lost the Ari lottery. Goodbye world. Honestly, probably dropped the Sona. What is she even doing for me here? Thank you.
The whole lobby is so close. Every single fight's just an RE2 diff. Every single fucking fight! RE2 diff! Lost the RE on Carousel by like a second. Oh my fucking god, man! Eliminated from the tournament because I couldn't hit an Ari despite being the first one to Ari. I rolled before everybody else, missed, rolled again at the same time as everybody else, missed, got one, saw one on Carousel, and I barely lost it! If I lost one more HP and then got the Carousel pick, I would have had Ari 2 I would have gotten third. Instant move on from the tournament. Holy shit, I'm so sad. Honestly, it's fine. I have no regrets. If I got fifth and didn't make it because of my first place throw earlier where I lost one point, I'd be really sad. Because then it's like my choice to play for content actually did screw me over. This game was actually just like a blatant low roll, so whatever. If I go out on a blatant low roll, like I don't care. I've already said this many times before. I am super burned out of this patch and I'm playing for the tournament because I want to try to be competitive and do well in tournaments. But now that there's no tournament, I have no reason to play TFT anymore. I can take a break until the next patch. But yeah, like, I did everything right that game. I didn't have a strong board, so I played full lose streak. Cool. I got perfect Ari items. Cool. I get first dibs on Ari. Cool. I missed the Ari. What? That's not what's supposed to happen. Right? Like, I, I hit Akali too. I hit Nico too. I hit everything too except for Ari. And then the one thing I can hit on the carousel to win the game, I, like, don't get it by 1 HP. I, I lose the 1 HP pick because I'm at 37 health and two guys are at 36. And then I lose the coin flip of which side the RA is on. And he literally takes it for the exact same reason. If I had just hit that, I win like four fights in a row and then I get, get like fifth or fourth, maybe third, because then I can go nine. It's fine. What can you do? This is me losing this game. Like the reason I lost this game is the exact same reason why I'm so sick and tired of the current patch. It'll be better next patch. I am fine with this. Yes, also, I don't know if you guys saw, but first place, a natural the true damage spat, and he naturaled the Ari up. I rolled before him, I missed, he hit the Ari, slammed the true damage spat, instant win the game. That is how a lot of the game is when the patch is solved. You would have qualified for day two if you didn't take Curse Crown game three? No, game three was fucked. If you saw game three, like, the best I could place if I didn't take Curse Crown was seventh. One point is not enough to change things here. Uh, it would need to be like three or four points. They shouldn't make tourneys on such a patch. I mean, what, what do you want them to do? Be like, ah, sorry guys, this patch sucks. Tournaments cancel. No, they can't. the tournaments are planned away in advance. Like, it's fine. I'm frustrated, but at least it's over. Wait, hang on. This guy, BC Sugar, said, Box Box, you had J. He's very aggressive. You had JG Shojin TF game three, huh? And you rolled past it. So, just so we're all clear on the same page, I'm also gonna permaban him because it's really annoying. How dare you be annoying and aggressive? That line fucking sucks. If you're ever playing T, I play a lot of TF, and I would never play it with Hedge Fund, Shojin, JG. That is an instant eighth. At least Curse Crown, I had a chance of having a strong board. That guy is literally like aggressively backseating me. Why didn't you take this horrible line that would have lost? Okay, anyway. Yes, I'm finally free. I am decently content with the tournament. I think I played my best. I, I think I played every game about as well as I realistically could have. I think one game I could have gotten one placement higher and that was the, uh, the game where I threw for a TF3 and didn't hit. Seeing how it, in the end it didn't matter here, Seeing how it all came down to, I went 7th instead of 4th because I missed on my roll down. like, okay, well, life sucks. Uh, next patch will hopefully not be this way. Like, you always lose when you miss your roll down. But, like, the reason I missed my roll down is so frustrating. It's just, like, because the unit I'm playing is contested by 50 people. So, if you miss on the initial roll down, you are out of the game instantly. My odds are really good. I have the most money in the lobby by like 30 gold. So like my odds of hitting are way higher than everybody else's. But in the end we didn't hit. So what can you do? 
I played this tournament the best I realistically could, and we got reasonably good placements. I will happily play in the next tournament, assuming that patch is, that the tournament on is pretty good. I am ready to go take a break from TFT. If you've been watching my stream in recent history, I've been so angry. I've been like the most mad I've ever been, which is crazy, because in set eight, I said the same thing. In set eight, I was apologizing to my viewers because I was like, this is the most angry I've ever been in TFT. Like this set just makes me so angry uh, with how uh, some of these patches are. Then in set nine, I said the same thing. I was like, I'm sorry guys, this is the most angry I've ever been. Uh, I think as TFT becomes more and more optimized and solved, the game just becomes a lot more frustrating. Uh, when the game is very unknown, skill is huge. When the game is very known, skill is not huge. And people are just getting better and better at solving the game, leading to a lot of games feeling like lotteries. Like this game. This game, I'm out of the tournament because I missed on my 80 gold level 8 rolldown. I, it, was, it was not actually 80 gold, it was like 60. But like, you know, I didn't hit Ari, so I lost the game. I didn't even hit Sentinels. Like, I didn't hit a single Blitzcrank the entire game, so I had to pivot. And you wanna know why? Look at this board. Blitzcrank, 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 Blitzcrank. Every single Blitzcrank out of the pool already. Because, like, the game is too solved. Everyone knows what the best units are. And there's no reason to go for suboptimal units in the current setup. This will keep happening as players get, like, too good at TFT. Overall, I think set 10 is pretty good. I overall like the way set 10 is made. And in earlier patches, I, like, had a lot of fun playing. I think there was, like, a massive skill ceiling. You really could flex your skill on other players by navigating complicated situations better than other players. Uh, and I hope that set 10 returns to that on the next patch. I'm going to wrap it up for now. I, I'm going to take, I don't know how many days, but I'm going to just go play a lot of Valorant. I'm doing what Soju does. Soju does something that I think is very interesting. When he doesn't like TFT, he just doesn't play. I think it's so good. I like have this mental block of like I have to stream 160 hours a week because that's or sorry 40 hours a week 160 hours a month at minimum because that's what I've done my whole life I I always want to equate streaming if I want to take streaming seriously as a source of income I should work as hard as like a regular uh like employee who works 40 hours a week 160 hours a month and so for my entire life I've always streamed like eight hours a day five days a week at minimum I uh, usually we go a bit higher. I can actually pull up the stats just out of curiosity. Uh, so even if I don't like the game, I still feel like I, I wake up and I still feel like I have to stream. Soju is just like, nah, I'm the fucking best. So if I don't like the game, like, so what? I'll just not stream. And then when I do like the game, I'll just stream again and everyone will come back because I'm the fucking best. It's very Giga Chad energy. And I should just do the same thing. I should not be scared. So here, in case you're wondering, is my stats. The red bar is number of hours streamed. The green bar is number of viewers. So you can see like I had like a big peak in my early league days. Then it started to dwindle. Then I pivot to TFT and it goes back up. Uh, but like the red bar is what you need to look at. These number of hours streamed. Most months go into like the 200s. If I streamed only when I liked the game, I'd probably be at like 160 hours a month. Or more like some months would be like almost zero, and then other months would be like 400. Sometimes I really fucking love the game. Sometimes TFT is so fun, like, all I want to do is just wake up and I can't wait for the next stream. Uh, other times, like right now, I would not stream for two weeks if I could. I'm a bit of a little bitch who has this uh, irrational fear that if I, like, stop streaming for two weeks, uh, everybody's going to forget that I exist. So I continue streaming even when I don't feel like I'm enjoying the game. My stream has been very not fun recently. Very, very not fun. Uh, it's just been like anger inducing. Uh, a couple highlight games and then like a lot of just like, holy shit, I didn't hit. This game is so frustrating. Uh, or holy shit, my opponent just hit. Holy shit, I low rolled this. It's not been fun. And I think the only way for the original box box to come back, the one who's even when he's losing, it's still a really fun time. The only way for that to come back is for like the game to be good. I don't think I can be fun like that on stream when the game is in this current state. And again, here's hoping that next patch, it comes back to that and we can go back to normal. So I'm going to end the stream here. Thanks for watching. Uh, I believe we got eliminated by about three points, maybe two. Uh, 
It's fine. I will just uh, play a lot of Valorant. I don't plan on streaming it. Please don't ask me to stream it. I really... I have a lot of trouble enjoying video games, even off stream. This is like one of the few times where I can enjoy a game with friends off stream. I don't want to stream it unless I hit Immortal. If I ever feel like I'm good enough to stream Valorant, I'll, I'll stream Valorant. It gets, it's really annoying when people ask me to stream it. I fucking suck at Valorant. And there's this interesting thing where people will ask you to stream something. It's like, oh, I'm gonna go play an ARAM. Why don't you stream it? And you know what happens if people actually stream it? Nobody watches. Nobody wants to watch you fucking play an ARAM. It's actually not interesting. ARAM is like fun for the player. And it's like for you to have fun messing around with your friends with a random team fight. It's, it is not like a viewer experience. Nobody enjoys watching a RAM. Some people settle for it because they like you as a person, but nobody watches a RAMs. Nobody's like, oh boy, my favorite streamer is playing a RAMs. No, they watch a RAM streamers because they like the streamer and like they're settling. But like a RAMs actually fucking suck. They're, it's horrible content. Uh, it, similar to Hyper Roll, similar to like uh, normal games on TFT. Like I can see how they're fun to play if you want to learn and just like have a good time without fearing rank and just like try to hit your uh, your insane comps. But like, it's just like not a good thing to follow. It's not a good thing to stream. Uh, Valorant is the same way. If you're not good at Valorant, it's usually not worth streaming, unfortunately. Uh, nobody likes watching like mediocre Valorant. They like watching good Valorant and sometimes they'll settle for mediocre Valorant if the, if the streamer is really interesting. Like if Ludwig streamed Valorant, people would probably watch. If Ludwig streamed Valorant 200 hours, nobody would watch. Uh, so, like, it always annoys me when people, like, say, like, oh, why don't you stream this thing that you're doing? Like, I'm playing Project Zomboid offstream with my friends. I'm never, I'm never going to stream that unless I have, like, a very specific plan for it. I promise you don't want to see me go to Zomboid, queue up four books, and then go browse Reddit for 15 minutes while my character in a game reads books as I read Reddit on the side monitor. That's not fun to watch. Uh, you don't want to watch me level up my woodcutting. Uh, by cutting 600 trees in six hours. It's not that exciting. Okay, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a few days. I don't know how many days. Somewhere between like... Uh, probably two, two to five days. Like, I'll definitely see you guys on the next patch. Uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. But yeah, I'll see you in a couple days. Thanks for watching. I've been I've been really pissy lately. So if you've been watching my stream, thinking like, "Man, boxes are getting really angry." Yeah, I have been. I feel very bad for all the reasonable humans that watch my stream. Uh, there are a lot of normal, decent human beings that watch my stream. It's like it's it's the silent majority. Like in a chat of eight thousand viewers, uh, there's probably like seven thousand like pretty normal humans, and then there's like a thousand people interacting in the chat. And I get, like, really angry at the really annoying vocal minority. But, like, in the end, a very large majority of these people are, that watch the stream are totally fine people. And I always feel very embarrassed after a stream where I get really angry. Because I, I sit there thinking, like, Albert, Box, Box, Zhang, you let 50 annoying chatters ruin the, like, the ex what, viewing experience for 7,950 normal humans. If you were actually a good streamer, you would have just ignored it. I moved on and then I always feel like very mentally weak because I got really angry at a very annoying chat. Okay, anyway, so if you're to those normal humans out there, I'm sorry you had to see me be so angry the last couple weeks. This should finally be the end of it because the tournament career is over and now I no longer care. Uh, which means we can go back to having fun while climbing the ladder next patch. Thanks for watching tonight. I will see you guys uh, in a few days. Have a great night. I was going to raid somebody, but I figured everybody's probably ending their streams. Oh, actually, I can send you guys over to Daskara. Yeah, I'm going to send you guys over to Descara. Okay, see you guys later. Uh, the letter of the day, for those of you that actively follow the letter of the day.
The letter of the day is C. When you get to scar stream, type T A.